Hello, everybody, and welcome to Table Hops and our Dragon Heist. This is episode three of our D&D campaign. We have six characters here today. Uh, I'm going to ask that they just briefly describe their characters, just, you know, their race class, etc. Uh, and then we'll get right into the adventure. So starting with uh, Ryan, who are you playing today, Ryan? That's, oh, yeah. wow. So me in the spot. Hi, I'm Ryan. I am playing Valtrea. She is an Azamar sorceress with a silver dragon background. Oh, very nice. And then All also things. we have Jack playing one of our goblins. I, uh, my name is Jack. I am. Yeah, I am playing Sneezewort Gurgle Guts, the illustrious goblin bounty hunter ranger. Very nice. And then also we have a smaller creature as well, but not a goblin, a kobold, and that is my buddy Zach. Hey, Zach, um, Marv, a kobold cleric for the lovely, the beautiful, and kind Tiamat. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of converts in this campaign to Tiamat. They're going to have a whole church. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes the right kind of attitude about it. Uh-huh. And then our <laughs> possibly renamed Strip Fang character, uh, we have Kenzie. Uh, we have Kenzie. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm Kenzie. Uh I'm playing Thoughtsy Strip Fang, apparently, who is a uh a wan a wan P warlock. That's it. Who casts Eldritch Blast and never forgets. Finally. <laughs> Another goblin of the party. We have Seb. Hi, my name's Seb. Uh, I'm playing Krizik Block Knuckles. He's a little goblin barbarian. Uh, he's ready to kick some ass today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then last but not least, uh, someone who was not able to make it last time, but we're glad she's back, is our giant care bear, the Furbolg. We got Angela playing Natel. Well, since you just did most of my introduction for me, um, I'm a druid. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have my token list up of whatever you're going to turn into. So right now the list is small, but eventually it gets unwieldy. Yes. <laughs> and I'm yep. circle of the moon. So oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick little recap of what happened previously. Uh, this group of adventurers known as Two Napkins Juicy has a uh, an avant-garde band of sorts that has recently started playing throughout the, the taverns of Waterdeep. And recently they had a gig at the Yawning Portal where there was a bar fight that broke out and then a troll crawled out of the well in the center of the tavern. And after dealing with that they met this man named Volo uh, who hired them to find his friend uh, Floon who went missing. Now the characters went investigating through the dock wards of Waterdeep, eventually finding clues that led them to a hideout of the Black Network. And they had a battle with Kenku that was rough, but they managed to survive it, and they saved someone, but it ended up not being Floon. It turned out to be Renair Neverember, uh, who was the son of the previous Lord of Waterdeep. Uh, they look slightly similar, they both have the red hair, and they were both dressed nice. So uh, he thinks that the Xanathar Guild captured Floon, thinking it was Never Ember, and has taken him uh, to the, their hideout in the sewers. Now the heroes went and started to investigate the sewers and had battles against um, a, a gazer, a baby, little baby potato beholder, and a, a goblin, and uh, dr growing dwarves, Drogar dwarves. And it was all pretty intense. They also ran into um, one of the men who was involved in the bar fight that, that, that they uh, had at the Yawning Portal previously. Um, Renair has come down to the sewers with Two Napkins Juicy to help them find uh, Floon, who, who you guys found out is his beloved. Uh, and we uh, has has done her part. She joined the the group and uh, fought valiantly. Uh, they feel like they need to have a little tag team action. So uh, during the break, uh, uh, Rainier has taken Unwe out and tagged Natel in. Uh, who else? Was that it? Was there someone else that wasn't in the last one? I wasn't here. Ah, so, so yeah, to get her out and have both Valtrea and Natel join the group in the sewers, which is where we're going to continue. Uh, the rest of you guys have a short rest, but I think most of you should be at full hit points anyway. I don't think that affects anyone else's sl spell slots or abilities. Maybe Krizik's ability? Yeah, I'm out of rages, but I think that's it. Ah, gotcha. 
Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. And we is the one who went to uh, get Natel and Val correct their La Prima Nerda. Um, and then we'll just say <laughs> that Rainier came came to assist and brought and uh, escorted them back down to the sewers. Mm-hmm. Now, before we start on our actual adventure down in the sewers, we have ourselves a mini game. Okay, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a picture and this is like where is Waldo in the yawning portal Each week I'm gonna show you a picture and then tell and your job is to find the person that I'm saying Today's Mm -hmm. game is going to be exceptionally easy um, Just so you can get used to it if you find him in the 10 second time limit Mm -hmm. then you earn an inspiration Uh, In the chat you can help out too Are we supposed to, like, ping him once we find him? Uh, Yeah, you can ping him, or they all have numbers next to them. You can just tell me the number. Sound cool? Ah. Uh, So today, your job is to find Jordan. That's all you get. Get Ready? On your mark. Get set. Here we go. Ten seconds on the clock. Uh. What does it look like? Oh, the barkeep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Two, one, and done. What number did you choose? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Told you today would be easy, but they're not always <laughs> going to be this easy. All right, cool. One inspiration earned for the group. <laughs> and so now you got one. And uh, in our game, the players bank inspiration uh, as a group. So anyone who earns it will just put it next to this little golden coin. And... Um, then they will uh, earn that point back. Oh, uh, sorry, I did not show everyone else the uh, the picture because I'm a bad host. Let me show the the, the group, the, the Twitch channel, what you all saw. So here we have <laughs> <laughs> the image of the Yawning Portal, and their job was to find Jernan, the proprietor mm-hmm. of the Yawning Portal, who I have circled in green right over here. So, sorry about that, chat. It was a new thing. I'm getting... I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Mama Dean, I apologize. But next time, you can help! They found it real quick. They found it really quick. I have many monitors. Okay, so, with that, let's return down to the sewers. And you should see your characters uh, up in this northern area over here. Make sense? Yep. And I should have yep. put everyone who's in there... That's right, La Prima Nerda. I, I don't think they needed the help on this one. It is literally the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, so Natel and uh, Valtrea come down to the sewers uh, with Rainier, and you're all in this area. Uh, so now you're reunited with your friends. Anything you it guys want to say? So it feels so good. It feels so good. God damn it, Zach. I was going to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I funnier than you? It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, ah, there's is so damn. much love in this group today. I'm quitting. Oh, Mom and Dad, I'm stop leaving. fighting! Wow. <laughs> guys, honey, we're getting a divorce. Sorry. No. <laughs> you guys did nothing wrong. We still love you. Marv is only oh, five. I was the kids. It was, it was the kids. Yeah. It was all the kids. I'm leaving for the kids because of you. I'd like to cast mending on Mom and Dad's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work uh, <laughs> there's no hope so nope. in our in our previous right. uh, <laughs> after the uh, high enough spell level <laughs> no. it takes a wish spell everybody so um, <laughs> oh. ooh, Yikes. that started dark so oh damn back to the game you guys okay. are currently in the sewers wow. and you, great start Fast. tonight great oh, start guys. Night, guys I'll see y'all next week all right go cry in the corner. so uh, our, our heroes have made it over here to apparently the, the sort of sleeping area of the uh, um, uh, Xanathar Guild. And in this mm-hmm. room that you currently are, are located, there are two doors. One up here and one next to Marv. Now, this door over here was being barricaded with furniture by the uh, Dwargar Dwarf. So, um, y- you're not sure if that's the way you want to go or if you want to go the other door. This is as far as you have gotten. So the barricade has been moved? Uh, no, the barricade's still there. On like this. they were on stuffing the like blankets or- and stuff underneath the door? Yeah, they were stuffing stuff underneath the door. They were stuff pushed against okay. the door from the... You know the door opens in towards it, so they're like barricading to prevent, prevent it from opening. Is it something about like it'll come out from there, or like it'll ooze out from there, so... That's what you heard. Uh, it could be an ooze. If yeah. they're like trying to barricade like under the door, it's not something that would probably open the door physically, I'm thinking? I mean, you're level one. It's mm. it's a Dracolich, 
So good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Tresk, gotcha. <laughs> Three Tresks. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> so uh, uh, it's up to you guys. What are you feeling? Um. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll knock on the door. Uh, which door are you knocking on? <laughs> the one that's barricaded. Okay. So you move up. You knock on the door. Uh, do you say anything? Hello. Is anyone in there? Make a perception check. Okay. I'm not good at those, but I'll try. Hey, Chris. Yes. You don't have Veltre on the map. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. You can also All grab right, him from home. your... We, no. we left her up. Uh, oh, need, I'm sorry. That shouldn't be advantage. 16. Okay. Uh, you can grab your... If I ever forget, guys, you can grab him from the chart, but there you go. Thanks. I don't know why advantage was highlighted, but... Uh, I will, uh, okay, I'll 16. Take... Uh, you knock on the door, and uh, you listen. You put your ear against the door, and you listen. You hear um, sort of a, a slimy slapping sound moving towards the door, and it sounds like it's like Ugh. moving against it. <laughs> Someone slapping meat together. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yep. Some, no, no. Salami nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> Krizik, Krizik makes a face and is like, oh, maybe we shouldn't disturb them. Let's go in the other door. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're right. That's a good idea. Let, let, let them have some personal time. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I think it's just when you take two chunks of meat and you All right, slip we've it lost together. three exactly subscribers so there, far. There's Let's certainly go for two four. chunks of something slapping together, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be tasty if you want to go in. That's up to you guys. I don't. I don't think we got. No, let's not go in, you guys. Let's just. Let's just leave that alone. All right. Yeah, let, let's check out the other door first. <laughs> All right, Marv, are you checking out that door as well? Yeah. Okay, I'll do the rogue stuff. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I mean, just, I'll, I mean, this could be something that you want to leave hello? to, like, I don't know, the ranger. No, I could. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can leave. You can do it. <laughs> Up to you guys. I, I didn't mean to bother you. I apologize. Let me just move out of your way. See. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but while you're looking, you know, let Tiamat's eyes be your eyes, and I'll Ooh, give you guidance. guidance. All right. Let's see, I might, I might need that. Hang on a second. Let's. Uh... <laughs> Are you guys rolling at advantage? Because you should not be. Uh, I accidentally did. I shouldn't fixed it. be. Like, I don't think it's. No, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, for some reason it was highlighted in the mine too. I don't know why. Yeah, I think it's just automatically highlighted when you bring it up. Because yeah. mine was too. Uh, mm -hmm. You well, might right, have to so move that. We should play from now on. Move that Tiffing. toggle. No, no. <laughs> uh, all right. So we go with the fourteen. Uh, you uh, check the door. It doesn't see, appear there's any traps. There is um, a... It looks like this area is traveled pretty frequently. There's okay. a lot of, uh, like, okay. uh, tra uh, like uh, uh, foot traffic, like, uh, prints on the ground towards the door. It looks like this door is, is heavily used. Gotcha. Okay. Um, does it seem to be locked? No, it seems, seems A-OK -okay to open. Okay. Well, um, gently... Gently push it open, then gingerly. Gingerly, gingerly. That's, yeah, that's gingerly. a key word. All right, uh, you open the door, and you see a hallway that that moves on a right angle, straight down. I'm going to guarantee uh -huh. you it doesn't reverse on itself and end up back where you started. No, okay, good. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, I stealthily make my way here to the corner and check and see what's uh, what's on the hallway. All right, so the hallway goes four hundred uh, more feet of hallway. The, the hallway goes straight down. You're going to see this area. Uh, the hallway you're in actually travels underneath it and okay. uh, goes to a staircase, uh, which is located at the far end where you're at. Uh, you really can't see any further than that, although you think you hear voices and you see the slight shimmer of a torchlight coming from uh, the other end of the staircase. But it's a little too high up and too far away to see. Okay. So, the, so the staircase leads up. Correct. Right? Okay. You are currently okay. lower than the goo. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, All right, so maybe just like quietly wave everyone forward, and we'll start start slowly, yeah. stealthily moving our way up. Okay. Krizik right. comes up and is like, "I got your back, sneeze word." Thanks, Krizik. Do a little fist bump. I also have a back. <laughs> <laughs> This is like some kind of doo-doo aqueduct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what it no. is. <laughs> Welcome to the sewer. Uh, Rainier will take up the rear. <laughs> that cock duct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I am. Right. Take up the rear never ember. <laughs> I think aquaca, aquacaca. Aquacaca? I like aquacaca. Aquacaca. duct. It somehow sounds like a Muppet. <laughs> okay, uh, so you get to the base of the stairs. Now you definitely see, um, looking, just peeking your little eyes over, you do see some um, torchlight coming from the room beyond, and you hear some uh, sounds. You see some sh- figures ahead of you. Uh, if you'd like to get a closer look, you could make a stealth check. That's up to you. Yeah, we'll absolutely give it a shot. Cool. Yeah. So this will just be Sneeze Ward as he peeks over. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay, well, with that. <laughs> <laughs> like the, uh, the scimitar, like, clinks against the uh, step or something. is like, trying to, like, peer over. Um, yeah. So I will uh, uh, tell you what, uh, this is what um, Sneeze Ward sees. The rest of you, just remember, you're not quite up this far yet. Okay. Okay. Um, but I will describe them to you. All right. Threadbare curtains hang on the east wall of a long hall in the middle of which a muscular half-orc in dingy robes stands at the center. So these are the curtains here and here. Uh, here, there is the half-orc, and he looks like like this. Uh, okay. He is standing in the center of the room, and he has his foot on the chest of a human man with wavy blonde uh, hair. And this guy is right here. This man. Fire. That's not blonde, Chris. Wavy. I was about to ask you. Red like, blonde hair. Red. Is not an art teacher. But red like... blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> Adjust your monitors. <laughs> so is he a redhead? Yes, is he's a redhead. Redhead. No, that's Flynn. Oh, okay. okay, so that's probably Flynn. Okay. Probably Flynn. <gasps> no, he's got his foot on Flynn. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Foot on Flynn. Um, fire burns around the orc's clenched fist, and his victim cries and squirms helplessly beneath him. Now, behind him, away from you, uh, there is a raised sort of dais over here with little staircases leading up to the top of it with a throne in the center. Seated on a raised platform to the south is a nightmarish figure wearing black robes. It has large white eyes and rubber purple skin. And the you f- would say he's on the dais on the dais. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. With, Come on. That's uh, one more, right? On <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I will give it to you. Let me finish my description. It has large white eyes and rubbery purple skin and four tentacles encircling its human-like mouth. It's wow. inhuman mouth. Really? One. We're level one. Level one. Welcome to a, Are you <laughs> a serious? mind flare. Is he also holding a breeder? <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Uh, it had, uh, uh, this it, is a chalice and chains, dude. It cradles. I've got nine hit points. It cradles <laughs> and gently caresses what looks like a disembodied brain with feet. Oh. Well. Now, uh, as he's uh, he, he's they're yelling at each other over the area there. Uh, you can't. It looks like the uh, the um, the. Uh, uh, Mind Flayer is angry, but it's it's hard to tell from his facial expressions. Uh, do you speak Orc? No. I personally, or um, yes, you just uh, just uh, just sneeze Orc. He's up close. Hold on, no, I speak. speaks like a hundred languages. Okay, but you're pretty far back, so you're not quite hearing this at this point. No, I speak Common, Goblin, and Elvish. Okay, uh, you can't quite make out what they're saying specifically as they're uh, yelling back and forth of each other. It looks like the. Uh, the mind flare actually isn't speaking, but the orc is acting as if he's in the middle of a conversation. So you assume okay. he's speaking speak te- telepathically. Um, so just yelling out over at him, he uh, they seem to be arguing about the person under his foot. Uh, I'll say that anyone who speaks orc just slightly behind you hears words of wrong one, and it's not him. Uh, with that, uh, the mind flayer uh, looks up and looks directly at Sneezewort's eyes, uh, and as he has picked up you moving up uh, the uh, stairway to, your, to where you are and, and looking at you, and uh, he points it at the um, he points at you, and the half orc turns around, and he s- switches to common and says, 
Well, maybe I'll be able to prove myself after all. And with that, oh, guys, guard duty. <laughs> we got to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, great. All righty. So here we go. Let me clear this. Okay. Oh, you might have to. Oh, uh, I, oh yeah, that's right. We got to click our character. Yeah, click and, character. yeah I remember that yes. now. Now I remember what I'm doing. Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's help. I'll get this one day. It's where I've been doing this before. <laughs> oh, good. I'm very low on the order. I'm very happy about that. Uh, are we missing anybody? Me. Yeah, it works. Uh, me, because I'm... Okay. Make sure you click your token and then hit your initiative button on your character sheet. So the token that's out? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not rolling. There we go. Oh, we gotta say as Mark. All righty. So, we're all in there now? All good? Mm -hmm. Descending. Yep. All right. Uh, with that, uh, the uh, Mind Flayer gets to go first. Uh, speed of 30. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to dash. He, uh, the exits. initiative thing went away from my screen. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Here it is. It. See, here it is. There it is. Thank you. Uh, moving, uh, he's moving uh, to the west. You lose sight of him around the corner. Sneeze, what you're up? All right, um, we're going to attempt to. We're going to move over here and get a line on the half orc. Okay. And attempt to hit him with a bow shot. That works. Floon is not in the way because he's on the floor. Okay. Uh, does seventeen to hit and Seven. six damage if it does. Seventeen does hit him. Six damage. Okay. Six holy, damage to him. Holy crap. All right. Damn. As, uh, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and make that seven, and we'll use my um, my ability, Fury of the Small. Okay. Fury of the Small! Yeah. <laughs> to put an extra point of damage on him, but just put a little extra extra English behind the arrow. <laughs> I like it. Uh, he, he takes the arrow straight into his gut as he hasn't turned around and, and uh, been able to let loose the spell he has prepared uh, as you take him by surprise. Uh, anything else from Sneeze Ward? Um... I'm going to move back into this whole alcove here. That works. Let me uh, reveal some and, more of that area to you. And just press my back to the uh, to the wall. That works. And we will load up another uh, arrow into our bow. Awesome. With that, we move on to Valtrea. Um, can I see into the room, or is the staircase The staircase, high? you'd have to get into the room to be able to... You have no line of sight, because you're below it. Uh-huh. Uh, but if you do hear a scuffle coming from up there. You just can't quite see what's going on yet. Okay, um, and moving through friendlies. They're rough terrain. They're, but they're so tiny? It doesn't matter. It, they yeah. need to be two sizes lower than you to, um, for it to not matter. Mm. Okay. Um, I can move here, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to shoot him with uh, Ray of Frost. All right. If he has a spell prepared, does he need to make a concentration check for it or anything? Uh, he, it's not like prepared, prepared. It's story, story mode prepared. Okay, 16 gotcha. will hit him and hit him with cold damage. Uh, so that hits him. Does he get a, he gets no save. It was just an attack, right? Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, with that, uh, you hit him right in the chest, and the orc goes flying back, slamming against this part of the, of the dais right there. And then the uh, the flame that was in his hand catches fire to his robes, and he goes up uh, in an in inferno of orcish flesh, and he's dead. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. I was gonna say his speed's reduced by ten feet, but oh. Well. I think it's reduced by a lot more than that. <laughs> Yeah. actually reduced to zero now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me, so, oops, I forgot to roll Renair's um, initiative. Well, that's... Five. Oh, oh it's a nine. But let, let me just... Uh, who just went? It was Valtrea. 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 So I'll just go down to Valtrea again. And we're good. Valtrea, anything else? Uh, that's all I can do, I believe. All right. Nate uh, Nutella's is up. Um... Chicken? Wheel? Uh, oh, wait, sorry. No, I didn't mean to do that. No problem. Huh? Did you skip my oh, turn, Chris? Did I? I Chris, okay. skipped my turn. Yeah, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that a 13? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. Chris, go ahead. Uh, you're good. So, did Chris see the Mind Flare 
go into the other room? Uh, the only person that saw the Mind Flayer in person and walk away was N- Sneezewort. Mm-hmm. Sneezewort was yeah, probably okay. yelling yeah, at I you. Mean, yeah, I'll tell you, he ran that way and I'll like motion with the bow and uh, point to this little uh, corridor, I guess, over there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, He's big and ugly, okay, too! So Krizik <laughs> will... Floon dash. is unconscious, by the way. Uh, oops. Uh, 1, 10, 15. So Krizik is going to dash to here. Okay, let me uh, reveal what you see. Yeah. He's, he's heading, like, in the direction that Sneeze were pointed. All right, uh, as you... Uh, enter that area you see this area is lit by torches you see the mind flare moving to the center of this room where there's this pedestal raised up and there's a depression uh, in the top of the pedestal and inside uh, his hand uh, the mind flare seems to be holding some sort of strange orb okay um uh Krizik shouts uh cause he has no idea what a mind flare is sure <laughs> Krizik shouts where do you think you're going and and has, he pulls out his long sword uh, okay. to attack. All right. Uh, the 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 um, creature turns towards you, and you hear like in the back of your mind is this uh, this laughter, this dark evil laughter of like you, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> Chris it doesn't know that. That's true. <laughs> gonna find. Gonna learn tonight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> tonight. Uh, if um, you're done, that, it goes that, to Valtrea for real, Jesus. Uh, yeah. You mean Natel? Natel. Now. Oh, well, Trey already went. I got you out of order. Sorry, Natal, go ahead. All right. Um, I guess I need to actually get up there. Does the green goo count as a space? Uh, you're yes. going underneath it. It is a space, but you're not okay. in goo. I'm just gonna dash. Okay. Okay. That okay, works. I'm done. All right, uh, Rainier will do the same thing. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He'll go like that, 30. And uh, his turn is over. Now the intellect of our sees Natel approaching from the south. This strange looking uh, brain with legs darts and gallops oh. along the floor moving towards you. Uh, let me actually see what its range is. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Intellect of our... Okay. It's the strangest cat I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, within how long? What's the range? Ten feet? Ten feet. Wait, Five. Angela, your druid stuff, can you like become any animal that you see, or is there like specific ones you can become? Eventually, yes. I cannot wild shape at level one, though. Well, yeah, but like one level. day, can you turn <laughs> into the little... The little brain with legs. Well, this guy's actually an aberration, so it's not technically uh, a yeah, beast. Yeah, no, it has to be a beast. Damn, um, I'll be like, that could be really cool one day, but never mind. It would be horrifying. <laughs> I'd hate it, but yeah. <laughs> so with that, you like, see the... the um, I want to be that weird cat we saw one time. Level 9 <laughs> true polymorph will do it. That's true. As you turn towards the uh, creature that has run down the stairs and, and mistake it for a cat, it sort of like goes back on its hind legs and starts to vibrate really quickly, and its brain is pulsating, and then you feel this pressure in the back of your head. You need to make a uh, intelligent saving throw. Wait, is the weird cat attacking me? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Intelligent <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm smart. Okay, unfortunately, uh, you um, failed to save. Oh, I have to roll it. You take uh, 11 psychic damage. As uh, oh, this headache just increases through you. drops me. Yep. Ow. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's neat. That's super neat. Uh, that scores are zero. The target <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, that's fine. 
this won't affect you anymore. So, like, you just see uh, Natal run through and then just grab her head as, like, some sort of aneurysm or something takes over and she just crumples to the floor. So, yeah, you drop, you drop to zero. Is uh, this her payback okay. for not being here last week? Like, uh, no, she it's just like we dropped. Brain puppy, guys. Brain puppy. All right, with oh, that, I don't like this puppy. Thoughtsy, you're up. Oh shit! I thought Marv was gonna go first. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't really do much except like run up, and I can get right here. Uh, don't forget you can dash. Um, or. I can... Oh, I can dash. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can double your move speed. But then but you that's won't your be able turn. to take a take an action. Okay, well that will get me right to um thirty thirty. I'm gonna go right. This to is not a space, by the way. This is not a I'm just gonna put that over there. Here. Okay. Ooh, Angela, you could use that inspiration. Alright, uh huh? oh you have two of these. Hey, we have oh, two we of have an inspiration. Two. Yeah, you have two. Oh damn. All right, uh, with that, uh, Thoughtsy, anything else? You're done? Nope, I'm done. Marv. All right, um, I'll charge in, and I'll get to, I think, right here. Uh, and, uh, I'll go, oh, no! And I'll say, team up, help her! And as a bonus <laughs> action, I will cast Healing Word. Awesome. All right, um, uh, you roll the healing there, uh, Marv. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I gotta go to my spell to do it. Submit it. Uh, six. All right. Natal, you heal six and you're immediately back up. Thank you so much, Marv. You're the, you're Don't the, thank me. You're thank good. you, Marv. Well, you still scares the shit out of me, so I'm going to thank you. <laughs> uh, Natal, you got your you got your token? You all good? Uh, and then I will, as my action, um, uh, Dodge? Sure. Give yourself a yeah, ninja put, face. Put my shield up and that works. All right, it is now the mind flayer's turn. Uh, the mind flayer is going to do the following. Why is there a mind flayer at level one? Don't Chris, Chris Perkins, man. <laughs> he hates us. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is that at? Here it is. All right. Uh, oh holy crap! Well, that's, that's a that's a, whole, that's a whole lot text. of text. That's a creature so you can text. see within range. Uh, it must uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, uh, Krizik. Oh, okay. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh huh. Oh no. Don't forget, we do have inspiration. You really need to use yeah. it. Yeah. This is a minus one. Oh, guys. I give you guidance. Uh, oh, take, okay. the take the guidance. It's a save. Yes. It's a save. You have to use it for skill checks. And it's oh, like yeah. Time. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh. do, we th do we think an 11 is high enough, you guys? <laughs> I have not um, resolved anything Well, it yet. wasn't for me. It wasn't for Mattel. That's fair. And that do was the brain puppy. If I use an inspiration? Go for it. it. Use All right. it. Let's see. All right. Yes, I mean, versus you, you getting then. dominated. Yeah. Um. Uh, that's a 13. All right. That's technically better. <laughs> All right. I mean, it uh, is better. With that. Uh, Krizik, you feel... Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be... One. There you go. Uh, Krizik, you feel, uh, as you're moving towards this figure, uh, this figure actually looks quite familiar to you. Uh, you feel like you can trust it. And, uh, Krizik, uh, in your oh. mind, the, the, um, the Mind Flayer points and, uh, points at, at your allies or former allies and says, Stop them. You're now under the control of said Mind Flayer. Uh, so 13 wasn't high enough. As a bonus action, he, not high enough. <laughs> uh, he places an or the orb that was in his hand inside the the uh, the, pen uh, the pedestal in the center, and in the south area right here, a huge portal the size of the wall opens up with like a blue light. Unfortunately, he is not able to move through it at this moment. Uh, Sneezewart, you're up next. You don't really know what's going on with Krizik. Okay. Well, we're going to pop around, and uh, having seen from our vantage point, Natal just dropped by this little, uh, this weird brain kitty. Mm -hmm. We're taking aim at the brain kitty. Let's go. All right, short bow. Oh, that absolutely right, that is, hits. That is a uh, 20 to hit and uh -huh. six damage to it then. Six damage, boom. Can you guys see its spar? Yes. Uh, yeah. Cool. Yes. 
All right, slam as you shoot it, uh, it right in the paw, and it recoils in pain. Uh, anything else? Um, we're going to pop around the corner here and uh, attempt to hide. That works. Krizik, you don't have to roll stealth until I look for you. Uh, right. Krizik, you uh, need to do the following. I didn't say attack. I said stop them. So yeah. you can you need to follow that yeah. command, but it's up to you how you decide to do it. To the, to, to, to the letter, if not the spirit, is what right. you're telling me. Okay. Uh, so in that case, Krizik... Um, Krizik turns to Thotsy mm -hmm. and okay, and he growls at her. Uh, you're you're not gonna get past me! And he holds out. Uh, he holds his longsword out and sort of uses it like um, like a bar and starts trying to like shove Thotsy backwards. Okay. Um, I don't know. So the way it's gonna work is if Thotsy tries to move past you, uh, she's gonna have to make a strength check against yours. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. And with that, we move on to Valtrea. Um, I'm really pissed off that this little uh, walking brain decided to attack my friends after I was sent here to protect her. So I move over and shoot it with Ray of Frost. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. Uh, what do I have to do? Uh, I have to click the spell for it to work. Got it. Multiple times, apparently. Uh, we'll take the first one. Uh, the first one was a 15 to hit with 7 cold damage. That does hit him. Boom. Nice job. Uh, as it starts uh, freezing over the, the wound that Sneeze Ward just inflicted. Uh, um, it's, uh, its speed is reduced by 10 feet. That works. I'll just give it a little footsie. And then with that, uh, if you're done, it's Natel's turn. Yep. Go ahead, Natel. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Okay, so I'm gonna move to Um, and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave and try to. Okay, what's the area of effect on Thunder Wave? 15 foot cube. Alright, centered on you? Yes. Okay, oh no. Hold on. <laughs> That's not how that works. Uh, oops. Come on, you little piece of wool. There we go. So a 15-foot cube centered on you. Yeah, let's just say that hits, because it's like the circle. Uh, it will hit Krizik 2, though. It will? Yeah. If yeah. it's a cube, Ow. like if you just ra uh, square off those corners. Uh, if, it, if it hits the intellect devourer, it'll, it'll, it'll hit Krizik. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's, it's sound, oh, right? I don't think the you. wall would really protect him. Well, I mean, on the other hand, that would probably keep him from acting against us. But. Yeah. Well, okay, so what is, is it an attack roll or do they have to make a save? A save. Okay, Krizik, you can make the save with advantage for being next to the wall, okay? Okay. And I'll just attack, I'll just do his uh, Madu normally. So what kind of save is it? Sure. It is a constitution. Con it's a save? what? You're cutting out. Constitution. Shit, I got a seven. <laughs> Hey, 23. Nice. Okay. Krizik, you are unaffected. Or do you take half? I don't know what it does. Uh, They will take half. Okay. All right. And what's the full damage? Okay. Um, so it's 2d. Let's... It's okay. going to be... So Krizik will take six damage. And the... Brain cat will take 12. <laughs> so I'm going to say that it's been stabbed, it's frozen over, you cast this thunder wave, and it explodes Sub-Zero style. So the, the, the brain oh. devourer is no more. Good job. <laughs> Boom. Uh, if you're done, it's, it's Rainier's turn. Okay. Does, um, does Krizik have to make a save or uh, roll anything? Uh, Krizik uh, won the... Uh, he takes half. Oh no no! Yes. Uh, it's not like charm. This is dominate. So no, there's there's no stop. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Renair, um, seeing uh, Floon down on the ground, rushes towards and uh, and just cradles his body and and trying to make sure he's still alive. Uh, Thoughts, you're up next. 
Okay, I'm going to do Eldritch Blast. There you go. Yes. On Krizik? Yes. No, not on Krizik. <laughs> okay. But I don't want to move forward because you're. I don't want to. I don't want to provoke you. So I'm gonna go yeah. past you at uh, Dude Man. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, yep. do it. That hits nice. for seven damage. All right. Yes. All right. Boom. You 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 tickled him. Uh, <laughs> you hit him and. Uh, and he just turns to you and says, I'll remember that. You just feel oh, that in the fuck. back of your of your mind. Uh, Thotsy, uh, it doesn't seem like it's slowing him down. What do you think? Anything else? Uh, um, uh, can I do... Oh, shit. I know what I should have done. Anyway. Can I do a second move, or is that it? Uh, you <laughs> can move, although if you move forward, Krizik's in the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, sit tight. Alright. Marv is up next. Okay, Marv, uh, seeing all this nonsense, is going to run up very angrily, and he's going to look at him, and he's going to throw down his sword and shield and go, Oh, God, please don't kill us. We're so sorry for bothering you. This was was never supposed to happen, and I will use Ruffle Cower and Beck. That is so great. That is so good. So good. He just sort of shakes his head slowly and turns away from you and heads towards the portal. (laughs) <laughs> uh, okay. With that, he just he he heads south. Uh, Krizik, uh, there knowing that Krizik will will hold you off, slowly walks towards this portal, uh, evaporates into it, and the portal closes behind him. The last thing Marv you hear in the back of your head is, uh, "Kobolds." <laughs> and with as soon as the portal closes, um, Krizik immediately snaps out of it, and you have control over yourself again. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, yeah, I what was that about? He, he told me too. He told me you were enemies. I'm sorry. I'm going to scoop up some of these frozen uh, brain chunks. Oh, I'm going to slap his hand like a child. <laughs> While you're busy looking at him, I'm going to come over here and like start trying to like surreptitiously just take one and like put it in my bag. No, and I'm like slapping <laughs> this way and I'm like, you stop, you know. <laughs> If we don't eat it, someone else will. We yeah, don't, don't know where it. that's been. It's, yeah, we do. It has right here. diseases. <laughs> right here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cast disease. Healing Word on Krizik because I hit him with my Thunder Wave, and I feel a little bad about it. <laughs> I'm going to go check on Natal and make sure that she's okay. All right, Renee is still holding. Floon says, do, do, you, do you have I'll any healing it. to spare for him? You're never allowed to get a cat. Oh, Ever. hang on a second. <laughs> Tiamat, please... Um, bring me your love and guidance yep. to bring this man Ooh. back from the dead and I will heal him I guess okay um <laughs> Krizik you get six uh that's both uh, of my spell slots so that's great the thing left total heal uh, health uh, there we go plus I get plus six back yes how Yay. much how thank, much uh thank, thank how thank much you. do you how much do you heal for um five five Oh, but well that's minus five. <laughs> Boom. All right, he's good. Oh, it's actually too much. All right. Uh, with that, um, you cast the spell, and um, the the man's eyes begin to flutter open. Uh, seeing Renair, uh, the first thing, as soon as he wakes up in his arms, uh, they embrace. And then looking towards uh, you, Marv, he uh, just immediately wraps his arms around you and says, Thank you. Aww. Thank you for saving me. Oh, it, it's, it was my pleasure, but really, the honor all goes to Tiamat. I, I, a man of the faith, I can respect that. <laughs> um, with that, he says, how did you know to find me? Uh, Renair explains that they, I think they mistake y- you for me. I don't know why they'd be after me. Uh, unless it's from my, my father's treasure, but... No, I no, 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 uh, uh, Volo yeah, sent us. Volo sent us to find Floon, that, that that's you, and, like, points him in the chest. I'm like, that's you. And uh, I said, uh, I said that he was looking for you, and there's money in it for us. All right, with that, a smile, uh, uh, or, like, a relieved smile appears on Floon's face. like, oh, Volo, of course it was him. And Rene, are you brave and stupid enough to come search for me? Uh, so, oh. Renair helps him up, uh, and he's like, I-, I can't promise, but uh, we may be able to see if any of, uh, of this orc or, or that creature had any sort of treasure here. 
Oh, that, that, that's a pretty good idea. Oh, Sounds like a, I like it. <laughs> uh, what are you guys looking? Yeah, at? I start prowling around. I'm gonna start trying to see if I can uh, if I use my little goblin senses to sniff out like gold. All right, uh, you go ahead and make I keep a uh, sneeze ward to make sure he doesn't eat the brain cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make a perception check, please, uh, while you're searching oh, around. Me? Oh no! Oh. Uh, you find oh. you, one you, more inspiration. You can't, <laughs> The only thing, the only I, I, smell you're getting is this uh, slowly thawing brain matter from this creature. Oh. Uh, Valtrea and okay. Natal, if you're searching up there, you can make a, a perception check as well. Yeah. It smells delicious. It does. It, it is distracting. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and like try to like hide myself behind the curtain and like take a little bite. <laughs> uh, I'll look in the other room He's where right. he put. The- yeah. Yeah, Krizik is gonna turn around and look in this room. Okay, uh, Valtrea, you uh, you don't seem to see anything. It's just a throne. Natel, did you check? I'm going to go over and look at the brain cat. Mainly just to keep Snooze Ward off of it. Okay, that works. Um, I don't need a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 16! Uh, <laughs> uh, so, looking uh, more carefully in the room you're in, you see uh, this area open up kind of like this, and then it opens sort of like this and uh, there is a door here and a door here what about um, is that orb that the mind flare was carrying is it still like right there it looks like it sunk into it and you see no way of it to it looks like it magically like folded into it you don't see a way that you could pry it out Gotcha, okay. Um, in that case, uh, Krizik will keep walking up here. Do you hear some inspect. sort of like s- sniveling, like, like, um, sort of like a, a, a whimpering sound? Okay. Um, which way is it coming from? Is the it- north. Okay. Krizik starts, like, slowly walking that way. Or actually, he calls back. He's like, hey, you guys, I hear something up here. And then walks into the room. <laughs> All right. In Goblin, you hear, nope, nope, there's nobody here. Nope, go somewhere else. Oh, there's nobody here either. <laughs> Are you sure? Krizik in Goblin. Because I heard some uh, noise. In, says, in, in Goblin, Krizik says, oh, well, that's weird. You're, you're making a lot of noise for nobody. Uh, Marv says in Goblin, Oh, are there not a lot of anybody out here? <laughs> How many nobodies are over there? Just one. One nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot more nobodies over here. So do, do you want to come introduce yourself? Not really. Nope. Take what you want and go. You got, you got anything in there? Uh... I, I have some rats. Oh, oh I mean, I'm oh, coming. That's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. going on, guys? All right, as you go <laughs> up in his here. hand, like it's his most prized possession. He's on his knees and just holding it up. It's the skinniest, <laughs> shittiest rat you've ever seen. <laughs> he was like, "Take, take everything I've worked for. Just let me live." I'm gonna <laughs> offer his rat a little piece of of the the brain kitty. Oh, the rat is super like, dead. Yeah. The rat has oh, okay. the, the rat has died long ago. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh well, well that, um, it's so nice of you to offer, but I, uh, I, uh, uh, I think I'm good. Oh, I still have the one from the street. And like a hold out like this rat, I'm like, eh. That's a much. <laughs> he just tosses his rat away that he didn't. He's like, oh, and he starts reaching for that one. <laughs> the grabby hands and everything. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chris turns to sneeze word and he's like, you're so generous. Gosh. <laughs> well, you got to share your rats. I mean, if you don't share your rats, who are we? How did you get down here in this poo tunnel? I live here. Oh, it's lovely. It's not. <laughs> it sucks. But you get you, you go where the work takes it, you know. My job is to look out of this tiny hole and shoot arrows through it. Make oh, sure no one gets here? past ever. Wow, you must be so good at your job. I'm the best. I That's... think we got past though. Nope, it's impossible. <laughs> well, we're here. Unless you came during my nap time. Oh, that might have been it. Oh, yeah, I think we just got lucky then. Nah, 
Well played. I'll tell you what, so, you give me that nice succulent right yeah, yeah, my whole family's been killed by them. Granted, uh, we usually only live you? for about five years, six years, but, you know. Well, I mean, we moved on, and I finished off the little bit of my family that was left afterwards, but it was not it's great, because no, they was just immediately dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing like family. Anyway, why don't you get the hell out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this. <laughs> you know, I, I I'll walk you out. You now and I'm thinking maybe we're related. <laughs> I think that's probably think... fair. Most of us are related in one way or another. Hey guys, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're making needed? friends. It's like a family reunion in here. What do you want, oh. a rat? I right, yeah, 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 give him the rat. I mean, it's it's. it's yeah, we'll share what we got. I mean, otherwise, like, that, what, what are we? We're like animals. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, indeed. Um, indeed, <laughs> indeed. So I just put this guy next to Floon just to rem I, I think if I delete the bodies, you might forget that they are lootable. So I'm just no, giving you no. A we're we're gonna go back and do that. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm liking this RP too much for the other <laughs> goblin. This good. While while Sneezewort and the goblin are talking, um, are, is there anything like in these boxes here on the map? Uh, let me double check. I do not believe so. I think they okay. are decorative. There is nothing. It's all bullshit. No, it's it's nothing of use. Okay. 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 So yeah, while while they're talking, Krizik will like clap Sneezewort on the back. It's like, yeah, you, you keep talking to, to your cousin. Uh, and we'll head back this way. Hey, is there <laughs> anything on this orb? Uh, I'm trying to think. There's, oh, he's going to head down like this door this time. Uh, sorry, I need to get back to that window. Uh, ping, ping what you were talking about? Right here. Was that what you were talking about, Marv? Or were you no, I, I wanted to know if there was anything on this orc man. All right, cool. Uh, yes, there is. I'll tell you what you find in just a minute. Uh, Krizik, in this room, it appears to be just some sort of sleeping quarters with some refuse. Nothing of value. Gotcha. Uh, on the... Um, you find on uh, Grumshar, the, the orc, uh, there is a... Uh, obviously, his spell book. Uh, you don't know how to read it, but it's a book. I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, sure, here you go. Uh, Valtrea, you uh, look um, through it. Um, you understand that your your magic coming from sort of like it, an innate ability or, or something that is in part of you, uh, you've never learned magic through reading spells. So this book obviously has the formulae for spells, but you don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, what are you thoughts, Um, I'm a warlock. But, Pass it to you. Oh, can I use that? Uh, looking at it, uh, you realize this is for a wizard! <laughs> Which we don't have, because wizards are nerds. Wizards are parties awesome. for cool people. The only thing better <laughs> is a dual-class bard wizard. Anyway, um, <laughs> so going over here, Krizik, are you going to that room? Yes, he's heading into this hey, room. Hey, notice next. how this room looks a lot like the previous room? Yeah, Same shit. there's not shit in it, huh? Same All shit. Right. <laughs> in which case, he will rejoin uh, his party members. All right, I'll come back into the same room. What was this This hallway? What was this little room that I was, like, tucked into earlier? Uh, the, uh... It's strange. It, uh, hold on. It looks like there is a, um, in the ground where people have been walking. Like, this area looks well-traveled, but it just sort of looks like it stops in front of a, uh, in front of a wall. Make a perception check. Oh, okay. That's enough. 14. That's enough. All right, with that, uh, you sort of push against where the footprints end, and then the wall gives way uh, to a passage right here. Oh. Some more doo-doo? Hey, hey. Hey, guys. Looks I like think I found a way out of here. Oh, good. Oh, nice. I thought we I mean, other than the way we came in. Is there anything behind the curtains? Uh, how about you make a perception check? Oh, I didn't even notice that. God, I'm having There's problems. A, yes, the man behind the curtains, but you shouldn't <laughs> pay attention. Uh, so uh, your whole group goes through, and you go through the curtains, leading to more of of Krizik's favorite rooms. Uh, oh, and, awesome! <laughs> now that being said, though, uh, Valtrea, as you uh, take one last look around the room. Uh, hidden behind the, the throne uh, almost imperceptible is a small uh, wooden box 
I want to check for traps, but I don't have that ability. You can percept um, and see if you notice anything. You don't have to be a rogue, but it's better if you I mean, are. Ooh. Seems like a box. <laughs> I've picked up the box. You have it. Cool. Are you? I put the box in my bag. That works. Well, I guess we could open the box. That's up to you. But everybody took off, right? Am well, I the only one uh, no. Every, this is all kind of happening simultaneously. Yeah, Sneezewort has thieves' tools, which right you would probably know. Um, so I found a box. Is it locked? Is it a lock box? <laughs> lock box. Uh, it is not locked. Uh, open the box. All right. Uh, as soon as you open it, inside you find. Uh, two strange-looking potions in vials that have a red tint to them. There also is a whole bunch of coins. Oh, I'll tell you, you found treasure. You're a first treasure, guys. Level one. Oh wow! wow. Actually, yeah. we had um, well, we had the um, we had the uh, the trade bars and the paintings from the last. That's adventure. true. That's true. We have, but, we have a lot of money. But for but us. you don't really totally understand how that works. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's um, right. I'll coins just take it and put it in my pack. Marv understands that coins turn into food. He does not understand that big <laughs> things of silver do anything. Uh, Jack, I want to thank you for always coming along with me on a 21-year-old reference every time we say lockbox. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's good. It's, good. <laughs> it's a good trip. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, boy. Um, so uh, I'll go ahead and tell you your coinage now. Um, uh, so you guys can divide that how you see fit. Uh, so there is... We'll start from the bottom. 250 copper pieces. Divide that as you will. Remember, guys, you're poor. You have those trade bars, but you don't know what they do yet. It will turn into big food. Maybe. <laughs> so uh, I, if you want to just write that, is someone writing that down, you'll just divvy it up later. I'm it. Yeah, All right. I'm writing it down too. Uh, 82 silver pieces and 16 gold pieces. Not bad. Nice. Hey, for level one characters, that's great. Uh, yeah. and, and for goblins, that's like, wow. So, uh, you guys are this little goblin comes up, he's like, <laughs> that's true. oh, you guys found some good stuff, huh? Oh, well, we, you know, this is ours. Oh, no, I don't want it. I just hope you guys are doing well. Oh, we're doing great. Thanks for asking. Have oh. you heard of Tiamat? Uh, <laughs> no. Is that something you, you can eat? A friend? <laughs> There's yeah. another one of you. Where did I he come think from? think we're actually related. Oh, I'm I the same one. So. I just walked down the hallway. I'm the same guy. I think his name is Dingledoo. <laughs> My name is is what? Not Dingledoo. Oh. I don't think you'd be a you're, lovely Dingledoo. You're a Dingledoo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, if you guys are about you. done, I am... Okay, kids. Are you speaking goblin? Like, can we understand He's you, speaking you common, common now. He's speaking common. Okay. Uh, he's like, like, wait. So, it looks like you killed everyone else in here, so I'm technically the boss now of this dungeon, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Well... This is a very nice house. We'll give you a rat. And I think that it's very polite of you to have us here, and thank you for the courtesies. Um, <laughs> and uh, in, have a nice, have a nice evening. Thank you. You too. Uh, if you take that little passage over there, uh, well, let me, uh, it'll it'll take you uh, to, to to Peabody's, not the Peabody's. nightclub in Virginia Beach. But oh. <laughs> yeah, that place is very scary. It's not it's good. <laughs> this place is run by halflings, and it's a lot more friendly, and less trashy. But oh, great. <laughs> well, well, that sounds nice. Are, are, are you gonna come with us, or are you nope. gonna stay here? I'm gonna stay here because, like I said, I am currently the boss, and I won't keep it for long. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. Uh, well, all right. Good. Okay. Good luck. And Krizik waves and heads down the passageway. All right. Bye. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell Xanathar you were here. Hey, you should, you should, no, uh, no, wait, baby, don't. <laughs> Listen, don't let that that uh, tentacle man tell you uh, that you're not as valuable as you as you are. You are a great uh, goblin, and everything everything good should happen to you. Oh yeah, thank you. He normally controls me like a big old meat puppet, and then I have to do whatever he says. So I'll keep that uh, in mind. You shouldn't let him do that. I don't do really have a choice. My saving throw is very low. <laughs> <laughs> Chiamat will okay, only ever I'm see leaving. things for you as I, as I walk away. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, you follow. <laughs> you follow this um, this passageway underneath the the gunky uh, sewer line that you came through, and it looks like it. Uh, you open it up. There's another secret door here, leads into this sort of like a storeroom, and you realize you're in the basement with three casks of ale. 
Oh, oh, oh are we now? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you think what I'm thinking? What He's doing the worst for me. Put it down. <laughs> but we lift it up. We didn't no, lift it, guys. I hide no, one no, behind no, my no, back, no. like I didn't do anything. <laughs> you, you, you found that little chest of treasure. We found these casks of ale. I turn around and I'm like, Foxy, the ale is bigger than you are. Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down. There is a staircase leading oh. up. What? Did the redheads come with us? Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah. no they're just making <laughs> out. They're just, they're just <laughs> like they're just. They can't. <laughs> they can't <laughs> one of the uh, one of the little sleeping quarters. Right. Unbridled passion. Yeah. They just they just hang out in this room. They close the curtain. <laughs> this is the sound of like meat slapping again. <laughs> And now you're it too. Okay. And now you're it too. That's, that was so good. Wow, they're back already. That was fast. All righty. So, <laughs> all right. With that, um, they uh, so they're kind of gesturing like we should go up the stairs. Yeah, I think that maybe if like if uh, if there's anybody up there and they see like two goblins initially just appearing out yeah, of the right? cellar, might not be the best like awakening or best was welcome committee <laughs> let's let the handsome humans go first okay yeah, so idea. uh they 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 say uh, probably for the best uh, floon stay with them you're still weak um and then he um he's like weak in the knees after that anyway uh so he he heads up the staircase and uh you hear some scuffling about like what in my cellar it's okay. It's okay. They, they they saved me. You might want to seal that up. And then eventually he comes back down the um, the staircase. Says, "All right, the coast is clear. The 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 Peabodies weren't too happy that there is a actual tunnel to uh, Xanathar Lair beneath their pub. But I told them that uh, we'll keep an eye on it. They said we can either seal it up or they'll let us use it whenever we want to. That's up to you." Oh. I feel like we should leave it here. Now that I, I like I like here. secret tunnels. Let's keep that. Very well. Secret, secret, secret. <laughs> Follow me. We are not far from the yawning portal now. <laughs> so uh, they head up to the top to, and uh, Natal and is like, "Hey, that's catchy. <laughs> Isn't that a great song? <laughs> you might yeah. Write that one down. So uh, we're just going back over here. With that, you make it out of the sewers into a, a hobbit's um, uh, tunnel. Or, or a pub, I should say. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Whoa. It's a hobbit hole. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, uh, with that, uh, you, you manage to get out. Uh, there are primarily uh, hobbits here, although you do see uh, many other patrons as well. Apparently, these guys know how to brew ale. Um, but there's no time for that, as uh, Floon is weak. Uh, Venera says, we should, we should head for the awning portal immediately. Yeah, let's go. I think we have to meet Volo soon. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, luckily, this do. tavern is not far from me. the Yawning Portal, so it is uh, easy uh, for you to find your way back. At this point, it's tr it's it's about um, it's 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 like very early morning, like maybe just before dawn. Mm -hmm. I guess the part the the um, the Peabodies are partying hard, but regardless of which, uh, you show up to the Yawning Portal and you see um, uh, a very sleepy Volo sort of uh, sitting on the table with his head on his on his hand. And he looking up and seeing Floon, he immediately rushes to the door and uh, hugs his friend. He says, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for finding my Floon. Uh, you you have done very well and and you have earned your reward. Please come, come sit. Uh, 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 I can never remember your goddamn name, you you man who mans the bar. But, uh, but Jernan, Jernan, come bring ale and food. And Jordan says, fine, fine. And he starts, like, pulling up the... He's like, it's late. It's very late, Volo. He's like, but but y y they have succeeded. Come, tell me tell me what you discovered. Uh, okay, so so Krizik, like, fully gets into retelling this story. And, and, like, he increases the amount of enemies by, like, at least 200%. <laughs> 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 and, 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 like, by, by, like, by the time he gets to the end, there were, like, four Mind Flayers, and he fought off, like, all of them by himself. And everybody else took care of, like, a horde of, like, brain cat dogs. Uh, it's it's all very heroic. Uh, and, and he saves Flume from, like, the jaws of death. Um, <laughs> no, I helped. <laughs> no, I helped. All of that definitely <laughs> happened. And, and, Everyone was, everyone contributed equally, and everyone was very impressive, and I think we have more than earned our reward. 
he looks to uh, Renard for um, for reassurance, um, and he's like, y- "Yes, they they did save me." And sometimes he has a sly <laughs> smile as you say, "There was thirty mind flayers." Uh, <laughs> but uh, every time you start talking about a beast or something, he pulls out his Volo's Guide to Monster and turns to the page. Like, did it look like this? Did it have these sort of abilities? And just make it, my my research is accurate. And uh, with that, uh, he looks. He's like. Friends, you you have done me a great service. Um, now I, I have to I have to be honest. I have uh, only a few coins to spare. Uh, Excuse me. But but, a few but, but 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 let let it be said that Volo uh, never reneges on, on a promise. Allow me to present something much more valuable. He holds out uh, a tube, uh, a, a, a um, sort of looks like a scroll tube, and he hands it to you. What is this? To? Just out is it open. full of money? Um, I take it. Open it. Okay. Uh, it you've animal? seen uh, things like this before, Valtrea, during your um, time as a, as a noble uh, woman. Uh, it is a deed to land. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Where? He Where? says, this deed is to a remarkable property here in Waterdeep. Uh, it is in the North Ward. And at that, Valtrea, you kind of have a slight shudder because... The 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 uh, magister's uh, family does live in the North Ward. Uh, it is a, a a huge building, a huge estate, and all we huge need to do tracks of land. Huge <laughs> tracks of land. <laughs> uh, he says all we need is a magistrate to witness the transfer of ownership. I'll take care of all the paperwork. You. Uh, I would suggest you rest, but when you are done, you'll, you feel free to check out the property. I'll, I'll meet you there, and I'll procure you a key. How does that sound? Uh, is that a cash? Because originally you were only going to give us like some money, but now you're giving us a whole thing of land. Uh, the North Ward, which is like the nice area. Of town. Valtrea, roll uh, yes. a. Uh, yeah, I smell a rat. And I mean, not a good <laughs> one either. Like the one I, I gave one of the, the, the 300 goblins we also fought. Like, like an actual, like a, like a bad rat. Um, Valtrea, you're going to roll insight, and Natalia, you're going to roll persuasion. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's see the persuasion. I'm going to give myself guidance because okay. I have very bad social anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to breathe. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not bad. All right. Um, he's uh, oh, there. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. With that, he's like. Seventeen. Oh no, no trick, no trick. Probably the rumors of it being haunted are just you know a hoax. It's nothing to worry about. Krizik smiles. He's what? like, "You're giving us a haunted house. That's awesome." <laughs> See, I knew <laughs> we would all be happy. I do like ghosts, but um. What kind of ghosts? I don't know. I honestly haven't checked it out yet. I bought it at a You wrote the price. book called Volo's Guide to Spectres and Ghosts. How do you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> my, my, my Guide to Spirits and Spectres is currently in its first edition. I'm still revising it, and I need a little bit more research. But I hope once that book sells, okay. I'll be able to uh, maybe uh, bring more money your way and have more jobs for you. In the do meantime, I know anything about this property? Uh, roll a history check. Uh, Krizik like like scoots his chair like closer to Volo and is like, will you will you tell us the, tell us the ghost story? Nope. Sure, no. inspiration. Well, uh, I, I hope roll. I hope maybe you'll be able to. Uh, it's a win-win situation. If there's no ghosts, you have a free house. If there are ghosts, then we can experience that together. Isn't that grand? <laughs> okay. K- Krizik turns to everyone else. He's like, guys, this sounds great. I'm so excited. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I, you look, you look tired. How about this, uh, John? And here, uh, give them my room. I will go to the magister's office right away and put the deed in your names. Uh, what name should I put the deed in? Ah, uh, uh, sneezewort. Juicy. Because we don't have a party name yet. It's up to you. It can be to one person. It can be to a group. But I need I to put some really enjoy the band's name. That's yeah, two yeah, napkins that's juicy. Put is it under two napkins juicy, please. That is very strange, but I will do this. Yes. Um, uh, when when is it two like the T W R or the number two? 
How many Ooh. O's and juice? You need two napkins because it's so juicy. Not <laughs> too many napkins, but two. T W O. Got it. Okay. Yes. So yes, I will take care of the paperwork, and I will meet you tonight at the property with the key. In the meantime, I would recommend you you walk around uh, uh, Troll Skull Alley and maybe get to meet some of your neighbors. It's a pretty neat little uh, little neighborhood over there. Uh, with that, he motions uh, to Jernan. He pays for your food and drink. He says, anything they want. It's on me, on my tab. And Jernan's like, uh -huh. you have a very, very long tab there, Volo. He's like, hey, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Come, Floon. Come right Maybe now. Maybe he has a house for you, too. <laughs> uh, um, Jernan looks over to Intel. He's like, watch out for that guy. Can I have 25 pancakes? Uh, with that, Jernan <laughs> says, oh. Bonnie will be here soon. I need to go to sleep. I've been up all night. <laughs> um, he's like, okay. yeah, but I'll get your pancakes. Don't you worry, two napkins. You guys uh, take a take a nap, rest up, and uh, in the morning I'll give you directions to to Troll Skull. Uh, inside the tube, uh, he takes the tube back uh, to get the the notary signed, but he does give you a um, a uh, ooh, where is it? Inside is a floor pan of the house and looking at it you're surprised that this is a four level mansion here's the floor plan oh, i am so suspicious but this very doesn't exciting. make a lot of sense at all oh wow yeah yeah this is oh we got an ale cellar krizik all right <laughs> do you, you think it's fully stocked i'm, I'm sure it is <laughs> so uh I mean, guys with uh look with... Like a floor plan in the mouth <laughs> with that, Is we're gonna like take a. Up the floor plan, like where's the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> with I that, everybody, it. we're gonna take a quick little. Uh, ma we're gonna make a, a ten minute break this time. A ten minute break because not only uh, are these characters gonna have to rest up, but they also need to level up. So everyone's Yay! gonna now jump to level two. I have a new prop. And when yes. we get back, uh, we will uh, be all leveled up and be ready to check out the new neighborhood. Be right back, everybody. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out our Waterdeep Dragon Heist campaign. You can check out previous episodes on YouTube as well as your podcast platform of choice, and we stream new episodes each Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. While you're there, give us a follow and a subscription. We also do paint nights, RPG one-shots, some board games, and a bunch of other things, so be sure to check us out on twitch.tv slash tablehops. All right, welcome back, everybody. Good to see ya. Uh, if you're just joining us, we are playing Waterdeep Dragon Heist, and the characters have just saved Floon Blagmar. I'm gonna name my first child that, and uh, they um, <laughs> they uh, uh, rescued him. They made contacts with Volo and uh, Rainier Never Ember, and they also earned a, a deed to a, um, a a manor in Troll Skull Alley in the North Ward. So they're going to go investigate that now. Uh, Volo said he's going to come by with the deed later on after he gets all the paperwork done. So with that, I'm going to bring you guys to the Waterdeep map. And you're going to notice, uh, even though it's decently large, you're going to see the Yawning Portal as well as the two other locations you've already discovered. Uh, the North Ward is up, obviously, to the north, uh, past the City of the Dead and the Sword Maiden. Um... Remind me how to pronounce your uh, house again there, uh, Valtrea? Margister. Margister. It's a hard G. That's right. Uh, so the Margister's Villa, uh, where you have spent some of your time. Uh, yeah, is, I was trying to find that. It's right here. Uh, where? Here. That little black dot? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then your, uh, your uh, Troll Skull air, uh, um, Alley and Manor are located slightly further north. Right over here. Oh, okay. 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 So with that, uh, following the directions that Volo gave you, you head your way over to Troll Skull Alley, which you shall now see on your um, thing here. It's this little uh, passageway between um, areas. Troll Skull Manor is this large building right here. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, so that is your new house. Uh, you don't currently have the key to said house, but looking at it, um, you're slightly, uh, what's the word? Y your hopes are slightly downtrodden. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Actually, I can show you a picture, but I got to bring you back over here. Sorry, bring you back. Uh, as you see the house uh, from uh, the outside, it looks, uh, fixer upper is a, is, a, is a light way to say it. <laughs> Oh, I love oh, no. it. 
Um, it's so spooky and great. But it is. Krizik uh, is like, Krizik is like endlessly optimistic, and he's like, "Oh, guys, <laughs> guys, we're gonna, we have our own house. This is so great. We're homeowners." <laughs> <laughs> I think this is by far the greatest house that's ever been built. At one point, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it's definitely in disrepair. It looks like it's been abandoned for a very long time. Uh, in the North Ward, this is sort of a, a slightly higher upper class area. Uh, not the highest, uh, not like nobility, but 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 getting to that point, upper middle class, so to speak. And uh, you notice that the buildings around your uh, new uh, manor house are uh, much nicer, similar style. They just are obviously occupied and people live in them. Uh, so what uh, you may notice if you are keen-eyed is you will see tiny question marks around some of the buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. These are buildings that are open for you to explore. Buildings that don't have it are more like residence areas and there's nothing exciting. Um, but you guys can decide, because um, you don't have a key, you could either try and break into your own house or you can wait for Volo to come with the paperwork and the key. Uh, what uh, we talk to the neighbors. Yeah, let's go talk to the neighbors. Which way did we come from, Chris? Uh, you came from the south entrance here. So up this road. Uh, Sorry if your mouth's I'm not bouncing the thing. around. Sorry. Oh, I'm on the wrong lair because I'm a dingleberry. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Just like a dungeon dwelling Whoa. goblin. Okay. Yeah. I'm way off the map. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we probably passed by. Oh, let's see. Uh, I think we should go to... Let's go to this one. There's, like, lots of colors and stuff. Would you like to approach <laughs> that like... one? Works for me. Uh, so... That's, that's uh, Krizik's boat. With that, sure. you start uh, moving towards a building that looks slightly different than the other ones. Uh, it is a three-story house, uh, and it has... looks like the top floor has been converted to some sort of, like, greenhouse, and you can see plant life and flowers blooming inside it. There's actually glass walls that go down the entire length of the house, and when the light hits it, it shoots rainbows outside of either side of the building on either street. Ooh. Cool. Oh, yeah. wow, it's so pretty. Yes, it's very beautiful, <laughs> but also very painful. Oh, yeah, God oh, damn it! No. I'm sorry, Marv. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry, Marv. And no, it's okay. You know, sometimes life is pain. Oh, God. Uh, Jack, it's it's oh. Taste the Pain Bow. It's Taste the Pain Bow. Taste the Pain Bow. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, it's a very beautiful uh, greenhouse. Reminds me of the one that I have at home. I take off my cloak and put it over Marv's. Okay, uh, you are uh, slightly, uh, y y if you look down at your feet, Marv, and you walk just down the cobblestones, it's not so bad. But looking up at any of the buildings, especially this glass structure, is, is pretty intense. Mm, yes, I, I love it. It's great. Uh, <laughs> walking over to the opposite side of the building over here, uh, there is a passageway and a, uh, a, a sign hanging in the door that says Coraline's Crown. Does that mean anything to me? Uh, no. Okay. But it uh, looks to be uh, a shop of some sort. Uh, uh, uh seeing that uh, Marv is in pain, Krizik kind of like shuffles him, like, "Come on, then, let's get you inside!" And he like leads him up, uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. like to the door inside this glass house. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, maybe, it's... maybe it'll be better inside. No, it, it'll be it'll be shaded. <laughs> It'll be shaded because there there are floors, three floors of this house, so it's not yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. So you walk in, um, and the whole place, uh, Natella, as you enter this place, it almost feels like you're entering a forest again. Uh, there's so much uh, life in this area, uh, and looking around, you see different herbs. This uh, is what my room is going to look like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he goes uh, to firehouse. Maybe not get rid of all the ghosts, but <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you head in there. Uh, you see a lot of. Uh, herbs, uh, plants that are used for uh, alchemy. Uh, and then uh, coming out of the back, moving a, a, a leaf aside, you see a very tall uh, elf. And the elf says to you, he's like, oh, hello there. Uh, my name is, is Fala. Uh, welcome to my shop. W what, can I, what can I do for you? Oh, we're just looking, exploring the new neighborhood. We're going to be taking over. Oh, we just came into possession of a house down the street from you. Do you mean the? I can't remember what it's called. You mean across the, the street from you? It's, it's across the old manor. The manor house. Oh my! We haven't had anyone own that for a long time. Uh, last time, I think it was a tavern of some sort, and 
before that, if I remember right, there was an orphanage. It's been many things throughout oh. the years. Oh no. So we've heard but, rumor that it might be haunted. Is, is that true? Well, I tell you that people speak when they hear weird noises in the night, but it's probably just those pesky kids that are mucking about with their wooden swords. Oh, are there a lot of kids in this neighborhood? There's a there few. were. Krizik <laughs> 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 um, Krizik nods and he's like, oh yeah, because they all grew up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Krizik, they're all very still alive. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Humans live forever, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you think humans live forever, you should think about us elves. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I mean, envy elves how much live for infinity. Like, ugh. <laughs> I envy how much life you put into such a small amount of time. But anyway, yes, um, there, there are a few urchins that pesker around here. Uh, you know, they, I don't think they have a home of their own, but we all take them in. They, they get what they need. Anyway, That's very nice of you. Oh. Most okay. of the time, people are like, uh, you, you crazy people are driving down the property value. You're not what we're looking for in neighbors. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I would, of course, know that living in a cave, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm a person um, of reality as well. So. No, I'll, uh, uh, Fala says, no, I'll, I'll welcome here in Corlon's crown. Uh, have you heard uh, the teachings of Corlon Lar Larathian? Uh, cool. None of you would have because none of you are elves. I mean, can, maybe in Chris, passing. No. But. Yeah, can maybe you I've read about the Corlon? Probably not. Yeah. Um, have you heard of Tiamat? Uh, with that, um, Fala's visage sort of darkens for a moment. She says, I. Get out. I, I have. Uh, yeah, uh, he's, well. he's very new. He just came up from the caves from the underground and all he knows is Tiamat. So. And she is delightful and lovely and mm. kind and beautiful and generous and you should look into her. She, she's a great uh, five-headed dragon. I've well, probably, lost enough of my kin to your apparent savior to know that she's not all you say. However, I, I again, again, I, I, I apologize. The politics is not for, for, for people who are just meeting for the first time. If we are going to be neighbors, I, I just suggest we agree to disagree. And, and I have, uh, I'm running a business here for different potions and herbs. And if you're interested, I may be able to, to have some for you. Can I see if she'll identify the two that we got? Uh, yeah, you can ask. If would you be able to tell us what these potions are that we just happened to find? All right, pulling them out of the box, uh, she studies the uh, the red cards. Like, oh yes, these are these are quite common around here. They they would uh, heal any wound you may uh, have during your your adventures. They Excellent. are light cure light wound yeah. potions. Is this the two D four plus two? Yeah. Um, yeah. I have more for sale if you need them. In fact, the DM will give you now a neat little handout that will tell you what I have for sale. <laughs> uh, if you can find it. Is the it. DM like your god? Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. One might say he's all of our gods. All right, here we go. Uh, these are the potions uh, that Fala has for sale. Sweet. Hmm? We are all very poor. Yeah. <laughs> Comparatively, anyway. Yeah. Um, um, I'll give her uh, one of my one gold for the potion of animal friendship. <laughs> well, uh, I'm I'm afraid, my my small friend, uh, you would need a lot more than this. You're on the right track, but it's a long road to that potion. I have to make a living, I, you know. I have a couple other of these circles. Will that do? Uh, she, uh, uh, Fala looks around to the rest of you and says, uh, uh, "Maybe, maybe someone may help this this fine man if, if you yeah, want to we purchase." We are still teaching him how money works. Oh, we haven't yes. got sorry, but like you are on Krizik. the right track, Pat, Pat, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Krizik like Kilo counts out the coins the that hole, Marv like, is holding. He's like, "Marv, you, you don't have you don't have enough yet. You you have you, you're like almost there, but not quite." Oh. <laughs> Well, I'll keep, I'll keep looking for these circles then. Yeah, that's why that's why you gotta save them. That way you can buy stuff that you need, like like the potion. Oh yes, uh, and breakfast. <laughs> and breakfast. 
if uh, if we are oh, to be neighbors, I forgot my pancakes. Just just know that you're welcome here in Cornland's Ground anytime you wish. And uh, uh, I live upstairs. And if you ever need, I have the, the best tea in, in all of Waterdeep. So just come see me if you'd like to uh, spend some time with nature. And uh, if you ever need potions, um, I'm the one to search for. What are all Do you these? You sell plants too. Oh yes, any kind of herbs you may wish, any thing? any uh, anything you may be looking for, I can uh, definitely. If you're trying to uh, spruce up the old manor house, uh, I can probably uh, sell yes. you the uh, yes, the plants that you would yes, and seeds as well. Oh, wonderful! Thank you. Hey, are there plants visible where we're standing right oh, now? Oh yeah, this whole place is plants. It's like being okay. in Jungle Cafe or whatever that place used to be called. I, I, Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. Uh, I look around <laughs> and go, uh, "What are all these things?" Oh, Marvies are plants. <laughs> well, no, do they not have any green stuff down where you? They have from? like moss oh, and like, like lichen and like or like a fungus. Yeah. Oh, yes. Or giant mushrooms. Yes. Like, uh, they have, like mushroom grow. far like forests. Sometimes it's... we'll come across things that died a long time ago, um, and no one ate, and there's like these little uh, these these mushrooms growing on them. Yes. So, that's a plant. These are plants. Uh, <laughs> Fala uh, looks at you, Marvin, says. Oh, my dear little friend, I, I envy you so much. You have so much to learn, and just a whole new world up to you. I tell you what, though, I may have something you might enjoy. If you follow me? Um, yes, the pancakes. I didn't get them earlier. I was supposed to. I have none of these <laughs> can, cakes of the pan, but I have something you might enjoy. So come this way. Uh, she leads you, or sorry, Fala leads you down this way, and then heads down a uh, staircase and uh, asks Marv to, uh, or... Uh, Fala puts puts their hands over your eyes and brings you in there. And while you're uh, in this sort of uh, colder area uh, in the basement, uh, they open their hands and you just see different types of glowing fungus and mushrooms of all different colors just surrounding you. Uh, And it it looks like a subterranean kind of greenhouse per se. This is uh, is beautiful. Uh, These are great. Where did you get these? I grew them. They're their own living things, just like you and me. Well, not as not as advanced, I'm sure. Well, some would argue. <laughs> uh, with that, they chuckle and they, they bring you back upstairs. And um, Fala says, uh, "If again, you're all welcome here. And maybe, Marv, maybe I we, we can learn a thing or two from each other. It's true. I have five heads to teach about, so if you want to learn about any of them, let me know. <laughs> uh, uh, with that, Fala says, uh, I have some work to do. Uh, I'll, I'll see you around the neighborhood, yes? Yeah, absolutely. All right, thank you. Um, as we leave in Elvish, I tell her thank you for being so kind to my tiny little friend and that I hope to see her again soon. All right, uh, Fala in the uh, most... Um, uh, what's the word just high fashioned elvish uh, returns your your greeting uh, happy to have someone speak uh, their native tongue as we uh, as we turn around to, to leave i'm gonna tell marv like you know i had to track down a goblin we called five head one time it's because he had a forehead but it was bigger <laughs> <laughs> it had like a really swollen head it was kind of funny <laughs> Follow. We will leave you alone now. We're going to. Leave. <laughs> Thank you very much for your response. Everyone, it looks like we need more circles. Yeah, we, we need more dragons. Yes. Yeah. Crown. yeah. So let's uh, let's continue down the street. Yeah. Cool. Should we should we go uh, uh, left or right down the street, you guys? Let's go here. Right here? All right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Take a take a stroll over here. All right. Um, so you see smoke and steam billowing from the many uh, windows around this uh, indoor forge. Uh, through the windows you see armor, tools, and weapons. Uh, and uh, there is a door uh, located right at the front here. Oh, yeah, well, very cool. Guys, it looks like this guy's got armor and weapons. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> just like bursts into the door, like be really excited and like ready to see all the cool stuff. I run in after Krizik and I'm like trying to keep him away from like all the sharp pointy shit. <laughs> oh my god. So goodness no, gracious. This is my specialty. I, no, I, stop. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> sneeze word fights is like I'm crossbow. It's like a critic. I got, I got a long sword and javelins. Okay, I I know weapons. Oh goodness, it's like having eight year olds in the nerf of section of a Walmart. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> You just see, like, Sneeze Wart's eyes just go wide in this place. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at Natal like, I need I need help. Like, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm coming, Batsy. Hold on. All right, you walk in, and uh, as you are trying to wrangle the goblins, that sounded dirtier than it's supposed to be, uh, as, you come, <laughs> as you come in there, uh, you see uh, a large, muscled, uh, muscle-bound man uh, with deep red skin, and uh, out of his hands are just flames em- emerging from them, and he's heating up. Uh, this long length of steel and then as he as he does this uh, in midair he passes it to another man next to him who um, is uh, holding on to or he has a um, uh, deep blue skin and he seems to have this cube of water that he's floating in front of him that he takes the steel in and it causes the steam to billow out of it and then they move that kind of in an assembly line from area to area uh, these these two uh, workers here uh, the Bobby large uh, brings a fan out from like nowhere and just starts fanning herself. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as like Krizik is excitedly like running towards the door, he's like, "Ah, oh, weapons! Yeah!" And he opens the door, sees this, and you just see him go slap jawed. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, with that, um, the, uh, the 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 first man with the red skin, he puts down the steel. He says, "Ah, oh, Avi, stop! We we have visitors." And he sticks his head into the cube of water and then just does a slow motion, like whoosh, and his hair just like goes back like this. <laughs> And you see the steam going off his shoulder. He's like, ah, yes, my friends, what uh, what can I do for you? Uh, 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 uh. I think you should look at the buy weapons. <laughs> that, that sound? That's what okay? the sound of makes when you stick a weapon uh, in somebody. <laughs> Chris's eyes are like super oh. wide and he's just staring at these two guys. Oops, sorry guys, if... Uh, one second, my Zoom froze up for just a quick minute. Hold on. I got you back. I got you back. And we're back. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, cool. So, uh, with, with that, uh, uh, the man. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, my name's Embrick, and this is my partner here, Avi. And we're here for whatever you need here. It's, it's Steam and Steel. If you, if you need armor, if you need weapons, uh, we're your men. Yes, you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm taking notes. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see Chris just writing this down in a book yeah. he's able to scroll and Chris is like Embrick guy no uh, uh, Chris uh, like snaps out of it and he's like ah, well I- I'm Chris and-, and these are all my friends we're, we're new to the neighborhood uh, if you know if you want to show us around or anything and then he like smiles and like you can see all of his pointy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, as this uh, as uh, you, you introduce yourself, uh, Embrick says, "Oh, uh, Master Krizik, uh, well, welcome. If if you ever need anything, be sure to let me or Avi know, and we'll be happy to forge it for you uh, for coin, of course." Oh yeah. Uh, Krizik like turns to Thotsy, just like he called me Master. <laughs> 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 uh, and then he turns back and he's like, "Well, well I, I, I don't know if we're uh, particularly in the market for any new weapons right now, but uh, is I mean, it looks like you have a great shop here. If, if you want to show us anything." Oh uh, well, uh, <laughs> honestly, we we have quite a bit of work to do. And with that, Av comes back, puts his arms around him uh, on his shoulders. Yes, yeah, sweaty work. We have a lot of sweaty work to do there. Uh, and he's. <laughs> 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 and, and he's like, uh, he, he uh, uh, Ember pushes him off. He's like, no, no. Uh, I tell you what, if, if you come back later tonight, uh, perhaps I can show you around the shop. Uh, however, in the meantime, we have to finish this order. If, by the oh way, God. if you ever come across weapons that you wish to sell, we'd be happy to melt them down. Uh huh. Yep, melting. Yes, uh, that sounds great. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, well, obviously, you two gentlemen are very busy, so uh, we'll, we'll just come back later when you're not so busy. All right. Just remember, uh, Steam and Steel is here for you. And with that, um, they go back to their forge, uh, <laughs> and uh, you exit the room. Uh, Natel, as you are walking out, you do see uh, Emmerich playfully uh, give uh, Avi a little, a little little, teasing butt tap as they get back to work. <laughs> Oh, they're adorable. All right, so uh, with that, uh, you exit the uh, hot, steamy forge. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) (laughs) All right, where to next, guys? I say we go across the street. Yeah, this place right across the street. Why not? Yeah. Right here? Oh, yeah, okay. I was too zoomed in. 
trying to change these as you're exploring. They are updating on your screen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, what the hell is this? Uh, there's a small wooden sign above the shop's main door. Uh, it doesn't have anything written on it. It just has a large bent nail sticking out of it. Uh, in the front, it looks like a bunch of uh, ornate wooden furniture, uh, as well as a section of bows and crossbows. Ooh, really? <laughs> I don't mind oh, if I do. Oh, sneezer, let's go. <laughs> the sneezer like runs into the door again. Yeah, <laughs> Krizik is like right behind him. Uh, Wait, so does, sne does Sneezewort literally run into the door like he expects it to be a push? <laughs> and it's a pull. <laughs> we haven't gotten the hang of all this yet. This is this is right. difficult. We're we're not used to seeing doors on buildings. <laughs> yeah, normally it's just like it's like animal skins hung in front of like a, an entryway or something. So uh, as uh, Krizik, as you as you burst in, you see a. Um, uh, a half elven uh, man uh, raising a hammer, about to nail a, uh, a, a nail about into nail a piece of furniture. Chris? What? <laughs> about to hammer a nail into a furniture carpenter. And, uh, <laughs> into a furniture. And as he does, <laughs> out of game, Angela. We're, we're the person who knows little how things furniture. work. Me. <laughs> that's how I build things. Hammer into wood. <laughs> we know. Anyway, oh, yeah. uh, so just <laughs> as he just fix the car. <laughs> As uh, he raises his hammer, you burst in. He's like, ah! I mean, ah! What brings you here, young sir? <clears throat> and he picks up his <laughs> hammer. He's like, uh, well, welcome to the bent nail. How may I help you? Oh, um, happen to see a fine assortment of, uh, of uh, crossbows and bows outside. I, I take it you build these things? Oh, yes. Yes, my goblin friend. Everything here is handmade by me. Talsa Venor Fellbranch. Uh, you can call me Tally. Yeah, that's uh, all right. So, uh, wow, this is some nice looking, uh, nice looking bows. I, I, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a sort of a um, a what you a a kind of sewer of a uh, range weaponry myself. You know, <laughs> what uh, what like thumbs up like yeah, good word. What does Sneezewort <laughs> have? Um, as does he have a crossbow or a short bow or what was it? He has a short bow and a sling. Uh, he says, oh yeah, can, can I see that? Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. He uh, he holds the bow out uh, at a vertical uh, or horizontal plane in front of him and just sort of eyes the uh, the bend of the bow and then checks the uh, the string. He's like, uh, uh, I may have one that could work a little bit better than this. This is this is fine craftsmanship too. It looks like it's seen some use. Oh, it sure has. <laughs> well, if you ever need new flashlight, I use that one for shooting people when they run from me. <laughs> oh my, well, here, here you are, that's what they're for. Uh, if you ever uh, need any new fletchlings or, or new bow strings or a uh, new bow or crossbow, uh, let me know, I can uh, make a special order for you. Yeah, so uh, this, this this better one, what are we uh, what are we looking at here? Like, uh... Out of character, the stats are the same. It's just prettier looking. Back in okay. character. Gotcha. <clears throat> it's just the, the, the <laughs> aesthetics of the goblin bow versus the... Elven, sure, though. yeah. <laughs> Did you say can... what race this guy is? Is he a half human? elven? Oh, half elven. Half elven. you can okay. tell because he has a beard. Gotcha. Um, uh, but basically, that's uh, he's like, Yes, uh, also furniture. If you need furniture or any carpentry done, I'm your man. Oh, yeah, we, we just moved into a, a manor down the street from you. We, we, we might need some furniture. The you, you mean the manor. The, the old tavern. Yeah, Troll That's Skull Manor. Isn't that North such Troll. a cool name? Oh well, yes, that, that that is the name of the actual whole alley here. But yes, it, it is it is a quite cool name. Um, I will say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, I've, uh, you've heard the rumors, yes? I heard there are evil spirits in there. I haven't yeah, seen any haunted. myself. But I can't figured. wait to meet all the ghosts and stuff. <laughs> Oh, oh, my my brave goblin, you, you are much more stout fellow than I am, no, offend, uh, no pun intended, but I stay away from the undead. Uh, but uh, uh, if I've seen the place, uh, if you're going to be living in there, you're probably going to need some work done, so be sure to come to me first. I'll give you the best rate in all of Waterdeep. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. 
Yeah, Krizik will like start like looking at any like furniture that he's got out and like ooing and eyeing over it. Yeah. It's all very <laughs> or- ornate and uh, it's exceptionally elven. It has like uh, mm. uh, leaf and filigree all over it. It's definitely that type of furniture. Uh, but you is do any see of it, like uh, is any of it is it all wood or is it upholstered? Uh, he has some upholstered things too. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on it and like knead it a bit and lay lay down. <laughs> oh, uh, your Aww. your young little dragon friend seems to like that chair. Uh, I I would be happy to sell it to you. Although that's one of our more expensive items. Um, we uh, don't have a lot of money yet, oh, so we'll probably have to come back for it. Understood. But just know, uh, there are no holds. It may be gone tomorrow. How much is it? Uh, I would let it go for two hundred and fifty gold. Yeah. Yeah, no. That that's like two hundred and forty no. more gold than after, I have on me right after now. After he says it's two hundred and fifty <laughs> gold, I just go over and I pick up Marv and I be like, "Let's not touch that." And I just like hold him and like he's been taking up here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. With that, uh, he chuckles uh, and he says, oh, "Well, it was very, very nice to meet you all." Uh, and he holds up his hammer, waiting for you to leave. He's like, "Okay." He doesn't okay, want to yes, do. Really. Oh, okay. <laughs> he seems to startle well, easily. Whacking the hand. Yes. Um, with that, go, uh, go yeah. back to pounding nails. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> uh, next to, in case it's really small, uh, there is a grate that leads to the sewer located right here where I'm pinging. Mm. If, if you can see mm-hmm. that. I'm not going down that hole. It's tiny. Yeah, you've had enough of that. <laughs> Krizik like starts to walk towards it like oh man the sewer entrance let's check it out and <laughs> he's like nobody like like nobody no. else really feels it and he's like oh no no okay, no Sneezewort's excited because like, Sneezewort's hungry right now oh, I mean that's... we didn't get breakfast either so Veltria just puts True. her hand on your shoulder and just like redirects you the other way like, <laughs> you're mid walking oh, okay. and she's just like no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh, okay maybe later <laughs> uh, alright it's uh, guess... getting to be around um, twilight time is, is like the end of the work day so if you're going to search any more places you might want to get to move on before they close wait I thought it was dawn Yeah, you took a long was... rest and leveled up you slept through most of the day oh okay oh that's right oh okay okay uh, Volo gave you his room and all that mm. gotcha okay, mm-hmm. okay. Um, um, I guess we'll do you want to try this one out that's right next to the house uh, oh yeah sure. let's yeah. check that one yeah. out uh, it looks like there's one more right behind it. We, yeah. I don't know if we'll be able there are to hit a total of three There's buildings another left. one a little further down the street, too. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to uh, ping it again, please. Got it. Um, you see uh, a building. This building is, unlike the other ones that kind of seem to promote their wares and are, are rather ornate with their signage, this one is rather uh, um, unremarkable looking, except for it has uh, a sign in the front. Uh, with an orange and black, uh, it looks like a cat eye. Uh, there's no other words on the uh, on the sign. I mean, cats are okay. Oh, ca- cats guess, are yeah, really fluffy. It's not, it's not a dog. <laughs> Wait, uh, cats are really fluffy. Let's go check it out. No. <laughs> wait, I don't think it's maybe, the brain baby. That one didn't have eyes at all, Mattel. Yeah, like Krizik like looks up and it tells like, wait, don't you like plants and animals and stuff? I did. No, I don't like cats. Oh, but well, maybe they sell okay. other things other than cats. That's true. Maybe there's other animals and stuff. Like you can just uh, leave it for today and come dogs. back another time. Uh, no, not dogs. Not dogs. Not not dogs. Not we, we. Let's not talk about dogs. Uh, but, but rabbits. Rab- rabbits are tasty. Let's let's maybe they sell rabbits. Yeah, maybe okay, they sell rabbits. All right. Tiny goblins. Before what? we go in. What? If there are pets, if there are any animals, don't eat them. Oh, well, I mean, obviously I'd buy it first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got, we got, we got coins. Marv, that goes for you too. I mean, maybe I should just wait outside. It's bright out. Oh. Well, no, not no, that bright. No, I'll go with, of course I won't eat anybody's. What is a pet? It's like a rat. Sometimes oh. people like to keep animals as friends, not food. Oh, that's true. Do you know how, like, I haven't eaten you yet, Marv, even though I'm much larger than you? That's true. You could have eaten me at any point. That yes, that's all because the time. I care about you because you're my friend. Oh. That's like, ha- but you're not like a pet. 
because oh. you, uh, well, I'll, I'll explain it later. Okay. Oh, well, I just won't <laughs> eat anything while I'm in there. There you go. <laughs> there that we works. Go. Yep. Are you going in? <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Uh, you open the door, and uh, there uh, you're immediately not assaulted because it's actually quite a pleasant smell but there is like tobacco smoke floating through the air in sort of a haze uh there is a there is a uh there's papers and um scrolls and books sort of laid out in different ways all over the place Uh, it looks like a large wooden desk on the far side and sitting behind it uh is uh, looks to be a man uh, with his feet up on the desk um, he looks like he's napping, but as soon as you come in, uh, he tilts his head up. Uh, you see he's smoking a long, slim pipe, and, uh, he looks at you and says, Yeah? What are you doing here? Oh, hi! My, my name's Krizik, and, and these are all my friends. Uh, we just moved into the manor, uh, right, uh, like a couple buildings down. We're, we're exploring the neighborhood. Oh, the Troll Skull Manor, the old tavern. Yeah! All right, with that, he actually one. seems interested, and he, he sits up straighter. You see, he's a human male. Uh, he looks a little raggedy. He's wearing a long coat, uh, and he says, uh, Well, welcome to the neighborhood. My name's uh, Vincent Trench. Uh, I... You look... In a for... coat? His name is Trench. And he's yes, wearing he's a wearing a coat. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he looks at you, uh, sneezes, and he says, You look familiar. Am I seeing you around? Uh, I want you to uh, just sneeze, wart, make a uh, um, investigation... Or not investigation... Perception or investigation, whatever is better for you. Uh, perception or investigation. Let me let me see. Which is uh, perception is actually slightly better. Um. Oh. God, we got an inspiration I can use. Uh, you yeah. have two. Uh, you have one. I thought you had two. I thought I gave you one. You should have two. You should uh, have we two. Burned, yeah, the, Krizik burned one. But you got yeah. one back. Oh, okay. You should have two. I'll, I'll let you. All right, so use one, and you have one left. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 a lot better. Okay. So we go with an eleven. All right. Uh, you're having trouble placing him again. All humans kind of look the same. You're trying to like put together his coat and his name, and this. Uh, and then you're like, oh, he's like, you're gurgle guts, aren't you? Yes. These what gurgle guts? Uh, I thought I've seen you around. You're the bounty hunter. That's right. Uh, we're kind of in a similar <laughs> field. I, I'm a private investigator. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, probably I have actually around. seen yeah. you before. That's right. Uh, so. Again, I'm getting... Uh, I'm in the middle of a case right now, so... Um, welcome to the neighborhood, but unless you... We you, just actually came off a successful case. Oh, congratulations. With that, <laughs> that one involving uh, that uh, that Neverember kid, right? Yeah, yeah, you heard of it. Oh, yeah, news travels yeah, fast nice. around here, we especially with the Black Network and the Xanathar going at it. Well, okay. I mean, not to brag, but I found him. Kind of, like, puffs up a little bit. <laughs> so you followed the there's gang symbols in the line down the road, yes? Um, he was in a closet. Oh, okay. Pretty interesting. Hey, I'll tell you what. We need to grab a beer sometime and talk about our cases. In the meantime, like I said, I'm pretty busy. If you need any information, I'm, I'm, I'm a good uh, good source of it, but it will cost you. Would he have known that, I mean, like, we literally just did this. You find Is it strange that, that he knows this immediately. Huh? You find it strange that he seems to know this much already. Yeah. That being said, he never mentioned Floon in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the sewers. He only seems to know about Never Ember and the Black Network hideout where the Kenku mm-hmm. were. It seems yeah. fishy, but apparently this is his job. Well, yeah, I mean, your, your whole job is information and knowing what's going on in the street, so. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll let him get get back okay. to it. I, I don't. All right, don't slam the door right. on the way out. <laughs> and he goes back to his case, which is just sitting at his desk. Napping, it looked like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was cool. Well, uh, if you like, you can keep searching, or you can head towards your manor. Vol might be there. Um, um, there's there's two more. Yeah. Sure. If we want to do it, or we can just walk to the street. There's one more. There's, there's, there's one directly one. behind it, and one three houses down. That's right. Okay. 
Um, can this we one. see Volo, like, at the front of the manor? Like, as we pass by? You don't see anyone there, no. You see no figures waiting for you. Then let's, let's okay. go to one This one's got food. Right. Uh, it yeah, is It is starting one. to darken. Uh, you can, you give the cloak back there, Marv, as the sunlight is no longer affecting you. Uh, in fact, wow. it actually looks overcast, and you see, a, uh, like, a small sp sprinkling of rain. Can you, uh... Ah, ping, no, ping? great water. <laughs> can you ping the one you're looking at again? <laughs> the one on the... I got you. <laughs> it, it starts to rain and Chris is like, oh yeah, free bath! No! <laughs> no <laughs> terrible idea! <laughs> okay, sorry, this one's you see, you see, like, Sneeze Word trying to, like, stick to, like, the, the undersides of the buildings, and he kind of, like, looks up at the sky and just, like, bolts across <laughs> the road. <laughs> Chris, like, runs his hands through his mohawk, and he's like, oh, yeah, it feels great! <laughs> I'll try to pull the hood up over her head. She doesn't want to get her hair messed up. <laughs> so uh, as you move uh, closer to this place, it looks to be a tavern. There is a, um, a, a, a little hanging sign uh, that proudly states it as um, Froon's Brews. Uh, I would like uh, Valtrea to make a quick perception check. Ugh, can't be persuasion. Nope. I took points you can't persuade that. the sign. <laughs> Oh. You read that it I says. Into the sign. It says Froon's oh. Bruise. Yeah, you're like right in front of him. Smack. <laughs> uh, and uh, as as you're heading, okay, let's say as you're heading to look closely at the sign, the door opens and just sort of smacks you out of the way. Uh, as a, oh. a drunken patron walks out, you hear uh, like a a few patrons inside. So um, yeah, you can go check it out if you like. Uh, Cause he's like, oh, the tavern, like right, it's like right by the house. This is great, and walks in. All right, you walk in and you see, uh, unlike the yawning portal, which is sort of like the party crowd of like, here's a tavern, let's go nuts. Uh, this tavern's mm -hmm. more of the sad, like, hmm, time to drink the day away kind of tavern. Where there's only a few patrons, Aww. they're all sort of looking deep into their cups. Uh, there's a man at the bar, the quintessential rag and glass, wiping it. it says. Hey, close the door behind you. Uh, oh, uh, okay. And he like waits for everybody to come in if they're gonna come in before like closing the door. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's room at the I bar. Don't know He's if like everybody's walking in. He's like, uh, what brings you guys here? Can, can I get you anything? We don't get your kind around here too often. Any what of What do you mean kinds. by your kind? Your kind. Yes, you guys. You normally don't see goblins and that dragon-like thing and then that woman with the snake eyes and you're all kind of pale and you're quite big. Is there, I mean, is there, like, looks around room. the bar. Is, is there a lot of, like, humans in the bar? It seems primarily humans, but there are a couple of elves. Or, like, oh, okay. half-elves, you're not quite sure. Oh, okay. What is their, like, dress? I mean, is this kind of like a... Like, cheers, where people are moderately dressed or is this you uh, know, like roll your a dive bar? roll your perception at advantage this time since it's something <sighs> that's kind of related to your background all right hold on <laughs> you think if we come here often enough we walk in there hey marsh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh well let's yes! go with the 21 all yeah. right um that's so better <laughs> Something's been kind of like off about this place as soon as you walk in. Looking around, you see that although the sign was nicely painted, it looks like it was done in one quick coat as if to get the most money out of the paint that they could and then they just sort of left it there. It looks like this tavern was open probably within the last month. Probably probably decently new. Um, even though uh, the man is dressed quite nicely, it looks definitely like he bought these secondhand. He looks like he's living beyond his mean, basically. Okay. Uh, he, but he's like, I, I, I meant no disrespect. You, you guys want a round of ale? Um, I think we probably still have some time. We can pay for one. Uh, yeah. How, how much is an ale? Oh, uh, just just uh, four copper pieces. Hell yeah, we do it. All right, cool. Uh, he uh, he's like, I brewed this myself. Tell me, it's not the finest in Waterdeep. And he fills up his uh, the, the the tankards and he brings them out to you. And then uh, as you take a sip. It's not the worst beer you've ever had, but it's definitely on the flatter side. It's no mimosa. It's no <laughs> mimosa. Compared this is the finest beverage I've ever had. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank you, my, my, my little red dragon-like friend. Uh, tell me, what brings you to uh, Troll Skull Alley? Um, We're moving in down the street. All right. Uh, 
as as if uh, he didn't seem to like hear you as he's sort of talking over you, and he just says, "My name's Emic, and I tell you, my tavern's the best all in all of this North Ward right here. We're up and coming. Just waiting." So I'm I'm sorry, uh, my dear. Did you say something? Yes, you asked me a question, and I answered it. He didn't hear you because he was too busy talking about how awesome his tavern is. Oh, okay. Yes, we're moving in down the street from you. It's like, oh, moving it down the... And then you see him, he's like, wait a minute, did Vol- Volo sent you? Yes. That jerk, he stole that manor right out from under me. I had a good bit on that, too. I had to deal with this shoddy biz- building. Uh, with that, some of the other patrons look up and like, no, 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 the building's fine. It's up to code. <laughs> he's like, uh, you know what? He Maybe he did me a favor. That place is a little bit on its out and out. I know it used to be a tavern, but I wouldn't bother trying to refurbish it. Oh, well, it's a good thing we're not turning it into a tavern. We're just going to live there. Fantastic. Then we have an understanding, <laughs> right? Uh, yes, I, I understand common. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, yes. With that, you uh, you swig your ales. You kind of like I don't know if you do. Uh, some people maybe like are like just, I'm just gonna down oh, this and get it over uh, with. Krizik drinks it. He's yeah. like, this is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you ever slide it over to Krizik at your tavern? Because <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks, Natalia. You're so nice. Uh, and he drinks that too. <laughs> to uh, Natalia says, uh, you know, we, we kind of like to drink in peace here. We're not really much of a. Much of a, a, a venue, so to say. This is a place to sit and talk. Oh, okay. You don't need background music while you talk? Not really a fan <laughs> of the arts myself. <laughs> is it uh, I wouldn't really call what we do art either, <laughs> so... fair. <laughs> 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 uh, tell you what, uh, if you, uh, once you get settled in Trolls, maybe I'll come by and take a listen one, one night and we can, we can figure something out. It'd be great exposure. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. I've always wanted to say that. We are never playing here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, this man, Emic Froon, he, he seems to be a, a human male. He obviously was in sort of bidding war with Volo, but you don't really know the details now. This is the only tavern on this alleyway so far. Um, it's not great. Yeah. Oh, I wrote music on there. Uh, let's say, let's say yeah. he's thinking about All it. All right. He's thinking about it. Maybe you can convince him one way or the other. <laughs> All right. I do have a plus five to persuasion. That's the only thing I've got. <laughs> uh, well, after you finish uh, your ales, uh, there's six of you, so 24 copper. Okay. All right. I'll just, I'll just give for, him this Krizik one. pays for his drink and Valtrea's because she gave him... Hers. No, it's well, fine. <laughs> I'll pay for I would suggest you just take it out of the party funds that you haven't divvied up yet and just divvy it after that. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, yeah, so we 24 got, like, the copper, so there's 226 left. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And I will readjust my copper on the sheet. Don't worry about that, because uh, I think I think Jack's taking out of the party funds. Because you guys... Right, yeah. I just already subtracted oh, it. Okay. Whatever you guys got. So I will put it back. No. So guys, uh, looks like there's one building left. Not to rush you, but I know we got to stop at ten. There's just a little bit more I want to get into. Sure, we'll go down to the last one. All right, cool. So All right. Last sure. one. Yep. Let's see if I can find that really quick. Sorry, I told you this book is kind of like a choose your own adventure book, where it's like, oh, you want to look at that building? Turn to page three thousand and five. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, there is a uh, sign at the front of this uh, building over here that has a, uh, a sign of a, of a gold dragon curled around a treasure hoard of books and scrolls. Ooh. Hmm. I'm really interested. All right. Uh, you open the door, uh, I assume. Yes. All right. And inside, uh, you see the, the shop is decorated with beautiful hardwood and, and the earthy scent of old books. Uh, it, it has two floors uh, are just fu- filled with bookshelves. Um, uh, da, 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 da. It looks like there's more shelves in here than the building looks like it should be able to hold. Uh, sitting <clears throat> at the other end of the counter, you see uh, a short uh, dragonborn uh, with golden scales around him. Uh, he has small spectacles on his uh, his uh, maw. <laughs> he looks. He's, uh, <laughs> yes. What, what what brings you here? Oh, we're we're just due to the neighborhood. We're we're checking everything out. People this is a really cool store. 
Well, well, well welcome, welcome. Uh, my, uh, my name is something. Rishal. My name is Rishal, and I uh, own this uh, bookworm's treasure. Uh, that's the name of my shop. If you ever need any, uh, any research or need to procure a book, I can usually find the most rare of volumes. I'm sorry, my little green dragon-related friend. Did you uh, say something? Oh, I, I was just saying, people keep asking us what brings us here, but it's all that we keep, we, we all use legs, and I don't understand why people keep asking us that. All right, he looks Please at you. tell me that bookworm is spelled like W-Y-R-M. It is. It is. It is nice. nice. It is. Nice. Uh, with that, he looks to you for a minute puzzled, and he's, oh, <laughs> the little dragon man jests. Oh, you guys are a delight. I'm glad you're here in the neighborhood. Uh, that being said, uh, if any of you uh, need spells cast, I, I do it for a price. And in fact, uh, if any of you are of the arcane nature, I can even scribe scrolls that may uh, help you on your journey. Ooh. Here is a handy dandy list. Now, beware of the gold piece price because um, the, uh, the price is how much it costs me to cast it. If you want me to create a scroll, it costs double that. No. We also have a sorcerer friend who can probably do some of this for us. Yep, okay. Yeah. You also have a half or a dragon bloodline friend who gets um, a double proficiency bonus when doing charisma things with dragons. That's true. <laughs> nice. I do. Wait, no, that's not right. I don't do right. that. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many extra dots, by the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just noticed when I pulled it up, it's like, da, 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 da. but yeah, there's four mm -hmm. tiers of spells. Okay. All right, that's cool. Yeah, well, uh, we'll we'll keep this in mind. Well, uh, you said you are new to the neighborhood. Where uh, may I ask where you uh, found a property? Oh, we we have the the big house, the the Troll Skull Manor. Oh, the old tavern. That's great. No one's on that place in years. I've heard it's haunted, but uh, that's poppycock. I, I don't believe there's any there's any. Any spirits there? Although it oh, really? I, oh, I was so excited for that, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to They're dampen kind of your spirits. Huh? Pardon the pun. Uh, maybe there are ghosts there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but best of luck on your adventures. And again, refer your friends. Yeah, okay. we did. All my friends are in this room, but yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone come here all the time. <laughs> it's settled then. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. I'm afraid I have to close up shop now. It's getting rather late, and the storm seems like it's coming in. Um, as we go oh, to leave, I tell him thank you for his time and draconic. And he responds in kind, uh, very formally. He's like, oh, thank you very much uh, for speaking in my native tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with that, uh, as you exit the shop, uh, you do see that yes, indeed, the, uh, the the storm is starting to pick up. the the The, the rain is coming down quite heavily. Uh, you figure it's probably uh, a good time to head to your new home. <laughs> right, come on, guys, let's let's go see our new home. <laughs> These were trying to like stand behind Natel or something, which blocks the rain a little bit. <laughs> So, uh, oh, but you... this is a beautiful storm, Sneezewort. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, it, it feels like a bath to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sneezewort hates <laughs> baths. Uh, with that, you head off away from um, the uh, Bookworm's Treasure, and you head towards Trollskull Manor, uh, eagerly awaiting uh, sight of um, uh, Volo. Time out. I need to retcon something I forgot to tell you. Uh, Rainier, before departing, he thanks you, uh, and so does Floon, and they also said that they'd arrange for your uh, chest of trade bars and art to be delivered to your new property uh, by probably early tomorrow. He's going to hire a coach to bring it over to you. Oh, oh wonderful. That's real sweet of you guys. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome in retcon. Now, back to this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, moving over to the manor, you do not see um, any sign of Floon. However, uh, Sneezewort, something catches you your Volo? eye. Say it again. Volo. Volo. What did I say? Who did I say? Floon. Floon. No, Floon's out of it. You, ca you, you, you saved him. He's good. Volo is nowhere to be found. With that, you see, uh, you see something in the sky, Sneezewort, heading towards you. Uh, it's rain? <laughs> <laughs> does it look like? Does it look wet? <laughs> uh, it, it looks like a small bird. Okay, I'll, I'll raise the uh, raise a bow up 
and uh, start maybe taking aim. No, uh, lower his bow. <laughs> what? <laughs> are, are you making dinner? Our, if this is going to be our new home, there are certain standards that we're going to have to live up to. One of which is don't kill the birds in the street. I'll cast guy in the sky. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I um, remember how we talked about friends. Oh, yeah, we don't yes. know them. I'm sorry. It's so okay. Krizik, Krizik like raises a javelin and then like puts it back. <laughs> uh, Thotsy, you, Krizik, as your uh, as your mates hey. are taking aim on this thing in the sky, you notice that although it appeared to be a bird, the more it comes closer, the less natural it seems, and it's it seems to be about the size of a sparrow. But as it comes closer, it looks like it's a folded piece of paper in the shape of a bird that is flying towards huh. you and there seems to be something tied to it okay is it the key? Uh, i guess natal yeah, is the to, closest yeah. to the sky yeah because it <laughs> yeah. like, looks like natal he's like what kind of bird is that all right i don't i cast hey. mage hand okay i don't uh, think you would eat it what would you like to do with the mage hand it's it's a it's coming towards you it seems to like flutter it's it moves its paper head towards Just, you just catch it. All right, and, and you bring catch it, it, and it, it slightly crumples and brings it towards you. Inside, you find that the uh, the origami bird, for lack of a better term, uh, has <laughs> stopped fluttering, and it, tied to it is a key, and there's a note written on it. Uh, Sneeze, you notice that the paper that this is made out of seems to be the same paper that you found in the warehouse earlier. Hmm. 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 Was that a very I, specific sort of paper? It has yeah, a oh, weird um, weight to it. Like it no, just, you guys just, weren't with us. There was a, so we found a piece of paper in the warehouse uh, last session. Um, it was in a room that was like really like, gross and mildewy, um, but there was this like one piece of like pristine paper that looks like totally untouched and fine. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know if we took the piece of paper. You did. Someone did. Okay. Um, but yeah, we we definitely like saw it, and we were like, "That's weird." <laughs> um, with that, you look at the. Uh, oh well, who looks at the note? It's written in common. I don't know who can read it. I mean, I grabbed it all with the mage hand, so okay. I'll read it. Yep, sure. Uh, you read it out loud, and it's it seems to be from Volo, and it says, Oh, my dearest apologies. Un unfortunately, the magister was not available to sign over the deed, uh, and I'm running a little bit late. Th that being said, though, here's the key. Make yourself at home, and uh, I hope to uh, come over with the paperwork very soon. Uh, signed, Volo. I really don't trust him. I'm going nope, to eat me either. I feel like we're going to get rid of all of these ghosts and you can be like, oh, I couldn't get the paperwork signed and now it's my house and you got rid of all the ghosts for us and we're going to have a house. Oh, but but he's been so nice to us this whole time. And he said the house I is think ours. He's full of shit. So Aww. you look up at the dark foreboding manor, which is now yours, and seems to sway slightly at the top as the wind picks up. Looking up, you see a ghostly light flicker from the highest window. Or did you just imagine it? Raindrops are falling faster now as the wind begins to howl. Uh, you probably will need to seek shelter. Well, let's go inside. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's let's go inside. Yeah. <laughs> as you head towards the front door, you see the manor even uh, much more close up is is in definite horrible disrepair. The roof is missing several shingles, and the wooden walkway leading up to the manor steps groan under the slightest weight, as if, as if pleading for release. Uh, the house moans. Oh, this is getting a little graphic. <laughs> the house moans. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> as the yes. the two blacksmiths make their way to the anyway. <laughs> um, the, the house moans as the wind whips itself. Oh my god. Through the cracks of boarded up windows <laughs> and balconies surrounding the house and they sag like a soggy hat. Ooh. Pulled down cool. over the head of an ancient manor. You swear for a moment you saw it again. Movement between the boarded up windows somewhere up above. You can't shake the feeling that someone is watching as you approach. All so, right. uh, front door, everybody? <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, we're gonna go in the back door? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the front door, of course, is locked, but with the key, who would like to open the door? I guess I will, since I grabbed it. All right. Oh, before we, uh, I imagine we're under like a porch sort of thing. Yeah, there's there's a little uh, awning there that will protect you from the elements. 
I'll look over and do like press the digitation on sneeze wart and now you're dry. That's cool. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's like trying to like take some dust and just throw it on himself a little bit. <laughs> and I'll unlock the door. <laughs> All right. With that, uh, the door slowly creaks open and uh, I'm going to change uh, the map right quick. And oh, before we go in, yes. I go to Veltrea and I pick her up and I'm like, I'm going to carry you across the threshold because this is our first house together. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, good. That's so oh, good. So cute. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rizik me... does the same thing. He's like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Veltrea makes a little bit of a squeak when you pick her up. Like, oh God. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. And she like wraps her arms around you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the uh, map is a little bit confusing, so let me just reveal this to you. You're going to have to put your uh, tokens on here, uh, but again, you should be able to just drag them from the... You guys see that? Oh, they're yeah. so small. Yes. Uh, so, uh, right... I'm trying to figure... Oh, I guess... The, ugh, see, the, the door is underneath the awning, so you're actually going to come in underneath this balcony... Uh, sorry. Uh, right here so you're coming in here onto this mat okay. the door is kind of hidden behind that sort of um, ladder how, how do i do the thing so you go to your um oh, journal i did the thing you did it <laughs> congratulations <laughs> put myself on top of natal okay that works <laughs> yeah <I'll... laughs> So, um, the inside of the tavern smells musty and feels slightly damp, like the inside of a beer keg. The wooden floors are bloated and warped from seasons of soaked, spilt liquor. Cobwebs drape themselves over tables and stools, undulating every time a small draft blows through the room. You hear the pitter-patter of small feet this? and Jesus giggling Christ. somewhere towards the back. Do you guys hear Wait, that? Wait, we hear the pitter-patter of what? Small feet and giggling somewhere towards the back. Like oh. that, uh, that awful, like, <laughs> yep, that's it. Thank you, Zach. The Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yep, entry. that's exactly what it is. It's the Are You Afraid of the Dark and, uh, introduction. Um, I pick up, uh, is it getting, it's getting dark, right? Because the sun is setting, oh, yeah, storming oh, outside. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely, definitely in the evening now. Um, I'll pick up something off the floor and uh, cast light on it. What are you roll for up? tetanus? What are you picking up? <laughs> what am I picking up? Mm -hmm. What do I see? Uh, uh, so basically just uh, broken pieces of wood, old destroyed furniture. Mm -hmm. Why do I have so much energy? Um, if there's like, actually, you know what? I take out the tiny little purple skull. Okay. Cast light on that. That's awesome. <laughs> I, cast light I like on it. it. All right, so with that, um, you uh, cast light and it illuminates this area. Uh, you think you see uh, a small shape disappear behind the bar, but you're not quite sure. Uh, yeah, Krizik is like, Krizik is like still pretty excited, uh, even though he knows that it's spooky in here. Uh, and he's like, he like runs further into the room. And he's like, oh, guys. This is gonna be so great. We're gonna get to like work on the house together and and fix it all up and get rid of well, I mean not get rid of the ghosts, but like make friends with the ghosts. It's gonna Krizik, be great. Krizik, dexterity saving throw. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Wait, but I is it is it something that I can like see? Mm, why are you asking? Because I have danger sense now. What does which that is do? A second level ability. It gives me advantage on deck saving throws against effects that you can see, such as traps and spells. Let's say yes. Sweet. All right. Nice. Nice. Hey. All right. So you step onto the ground and uh, something rolls beneath your feet and you, you, you suddenly steady yourself and you look down at the ground and you see a small bag of marbles. Uh, Macaulay Culkin lives here. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see a bunch uh, of micro machines. Because it, it picks up the the bag of marbles, like, oh sweet, there's marbles, guys. <laughs> we can I wonder if someone lost enemies. them. <laughs> we'll have to protect Marv if uh, Macaulay Culkin is here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Harry? Where are the Cobalt Bandits? Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, the two Krizik, goblins Krizik's would be the now... stinky bandits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh. awesome. Krizik then starts searching the ground for more marbles. 
Okay, uh, you find a whole, a whole bag. While while Krizik is gathering marbles, what are the rest of you guys doing? <laughs> um, I go to check out the bar area since I thought I saw something run back there. Yeah, I'll go with her for backup. Was it person-sized or breakfast-sized for the goblins? Mm-hmm. Uh, you couldn't quite tell. It just looked like a quick. Uh, it was like a quick flash of movement from the corner of your eye. Okay, maybe we'll look. I would jump up on the bar. All right, you and uh, Valtrea and, and Natel, uh, Thotsy and Marv, are you guys staying in the entrance way? Uh, I'll no, go I'm inside. Go by the bar. I'm trying I'm to gonna... figure out why my spell sheet says I have thaumaturgy. I don't know. We can figure that out later, it's though. It's a cantrip you can take. Yeah, I know... but I didn't. I don't know oh, where okay. it came from. Is that a uh, cobalt thing? Like, just yeah. a racial trait? No, no, okay. no. Okay. Hmm. Um, no, I, yeah. I can panic. <laughs> so uh, there is a keg of beer set against the back wall that looks as worn as the rest of the manor. Over the keg hangs a small plaque that reads "Employee of the Week," with brass squares set in the uh, plaque's wooden frame. Uh, you see the name written below it again and again, over and over, of the brass tab, and it says "Lift Lift Lindgren," L I F L I N D G R E N. So first name Lift L I F. Mm. Also on the other side of the door, uh, you see a uh, a small trap door that seems to lead down uh, to the cellar. Do we see like any footprints in the dust or anything? Does it look disturbed other than when we walked in? It does not. As you're looking I'm at the dust, go down the trap door. as you're looking at the dust, uh, Valtrea, you see a small trail start to form in the dust. And it is, it's slowly uh, carving out words in the dust. And after uh, about a, uh, a few seconds, you read, it says, last call. On the floor or like on the bar? On the floor. Interesting. Um, I guess the bar's about to close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's meant as a like a like a you know a turn back now kind of right. thing. Right. Yes. Like, here's here's your last warning. Marv, you definitely feel like a presence around here. You're not quite sure what it is, but navigating dark, gloomy places, you, you do feel that same sort of feeling of not being alone. Okay. Um. Interesting. Um. Yeah, Krizik hops. Was it Krizik like hops over the bar, uh, and then heads this way? Is there anything like anything um, of significance? I guess. Uh, let me take a quick look. Roll a perception check. Okay. It's just not great. So in uh, using prestidigitation, I clean a small area oh. that says, I'll have one ale, please. Okay. Uh, let me go with... <laughs> just uh, underneath its last call. Uh, Chris, uh, with that, you think out of the corner <laughs> eye, you briefly see what looks to be a man with a bar towel thrown over his shoulder, but as soon as you turn in that direction, there's no one there. Uh, okay. And as soon as you finish writing it, Valtre, where are you writing it? On the bar? On the floor? Underneath wherever it was written. It was written on the floor right in front of where you're standing, like right about here? Yeah. Uh, as you write that, right above your head, uh, a tankard smashes into the wall above you and shatters. <laughs> Clever. Okay. I don't... Uh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sneezewort is just exactly that goblin who just, like, he'll try to open up the little trap door in front of him. Sure, we can do that. Right, let me uh, find that. Does it appear to be trapped or locked? It doesn't appear to be, no. It looks like it just leads okay. to the cellar. Well, that's usually where the bar is, and that's often where the rats are. So that's where I'm going to be. Okay. <laughs> uh, you climbing down? It's dark, but you have uh, night, I'm dark vision. I have dark vision. I'm a, I'm a goblin. Uh, 60 feet of dark vision. Sure. Uh, looks to be just a small um, cellar. I'll reveal mm-hmm. it for you. So if you want to place your little buddy over here. Uh, 
Okay. Here ish. Of course, we'll let my let my people know that I'm, I'm going in here. Yep. Oh, Krizik makes his way back and is like, "Oh wow, Th- that's the cellar. That that's where all the beer is." <laughs> Usually, and often rats. Oh, I'll go then. Okay. <laughs> All right, anyone who's going to the cellar, just put your guys over there. Are we all, are we all going? We're all going. <laughs> you don't well, all have I mean, to go. You, to you say rats. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm, and keep I'm it playing up. a very food motivated character. <laughs> I'm not going down. Marv loves two things anything he can eat and Tiamat. <laughs> so, uh, what more do you need, really, in life? <laughs> uh, I need one person out of the four people down in the cellar to roll a perception check. However, they can do it with advantage because of the rest of the party. I can do all. Of, I can. Uh, I've got a good. plus one. Or plus four. Oh, you might probably, probably sneeze right then. I yeah, I'm also a plus four. So either way. Oh okay. Uh, you want to roll, Zach? Go ahead. Go, sure. ahead. Go ahead, Marv. Let's do it. With advantage, you said? Yep. Let me toggle advantage button. Ah. <laughs> and hit perception. This episode brought to you by Roll20. <laughs> Roll20, where you can play games. Uh, 11. Uh, looking around, uh, even though you can um, see in the dark, everything's kind of grayscale, you can't quite make out too many of these shapes. There's so much random storage here. You find nothing of value. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, oh, sorry, Krizik. Krizik, you notice uh, that same bartender smock you saw over that sh- uh, the the shoulder of that strange man you saw very briefly, uh, over yeah. uh, over in a in a chest over in this like on a crate over in this corner. Okay, I'm trying to decide if Krizik would survive a horror movie. <laughs> I mean, uh, he, he just followed Sneezeport down into a, du- a cellar. He did. He did. Okay. So, so yeah. Krizik sees the Krizik sees the chest uh, underneath the smock. We'll say and okay. goes and like picks up the smock and like looks at it. Okay. Uh, the, the smock looks identical to the one that you briefly saw, although you just saw uh, Froon in the other tavern having one too. So it could just be your mind playing tricks on you. Um, yeah, but it does seem strange that it was on top of this uh, box. Uh, yeah, Krizik like looks at the smock. It's like, ah, oh, this looks like the one that Froon was wearing. Okay, and puts it down, and then opens the chest. <laughs> All right, inside, <laughs> it's trapped. No, I'm kidding. You're good. Uh, you find a small <laughs> amount of uh, a small box inside of the crate, which has a few coins. Which I'll just say now for whoever's writing them down: ten gold and four silver. Oh, this should be okay. enough to get everything we want. <laughs> uh, Wait, we're certainly well on our way there. Krizik, you also see a small, worn, looks like to be like a ledger or a diary. Um, do you read Common well? Uh, yes. I'm fluent in Common and no, okay. uh, not Gnomish, uh, Goblin. <laughs> so it's a, it's a book. Would you like to be the one to read it out loud to everyone? or? Uh... Yeah, because uh, uh, holds it up to it's like, guys, look, I, I found a book. It looks, uh, I don't know, it, it looks important, I guess. This is how Triss lost her soul. Books, <laughs> books are dangerous. Let me know if you want to read it or who is going to read it. Uh, Krizik is fair is a fairly theatrical person. He, he'd read it and he'd he'd like. Uh, you probably do a funny voice. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm sending it to the Dragon Heist Facebook chat. Oh, okay. Are you actually going to make me read it? All yep. Right. Okay. How am I... I now a funny voice for a character who has a funny voice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? It's it's <laughs> now just your normal done. voice. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is Chrissy trying to be human. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, thir- 1334DR. 15 flame rule. It's a happy day. I have found employment at the Troll Skull Tavern. It's in close proximity to my home, and word on the street is it is a rather fine establishment. I'm hoping I can best utilize dot 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 <laughs> quotation mark. <laughs> That's where the page gets too moldy to continue to read. Uh, uh, quotation mark 1936 dr comma 18 
Elisus. It's 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 basically like that was both in character and out of character. Looking into the matter of this establishment's past has caused me some great concern. I have to speak with the master right away. Elliot is right around the corner. Dot dot dot. Thir- uh, 1936 DR. One Elliot. No one shall believe me unless they saw it themselves, but I know what I saw. That hung hag haunts this manor still, in spirit, but still a threat. We mustn't allow children anywhere near dot dot dot. <laughs> End quote. <laughs> Beautiful. That was so good. <laughs> so it does seem to be uh, that that this was written quite a few years ago um we're in yeah. uh we're in uh wait that is a, Chris. okay that is a oh Dale is the worst year ever uh 1934 <laughs> that is a typo guys i'm sorry uh we're in oh. 1492 oh, which which from the which, future. which coincidentally is um from it's not from it's not supposed to be from the future it's supposed to be from the past so that's a mistake but um 1492 um Chris Perkins calls it the, the the year of the three sailing ships, which I think is just a pun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But in, right. in in the book, it does say that. <laughs> it's disgusting. Mm-hmm. On the way to genocide. <laughs> so uh, it's supposed to be fourteen ninety fourteen instead of nineteen. Sorry about that. Uh, but any who's it's. Uh, so this happened a few years ago, and that happened around the fall season. We're currently in the spring season. That doesn't really seem to matter much, um, as you hear. Uh, uh, sort of the sounds of, of that same sort of giggling coming from uh, above. Okay, what is uh, before we go, what is over in this corner over here? Uh, it looks to be here? more supplies. Opening it up, you find um, spoiled uh, um, uh, grain for brewing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it doesn't look yeah. like there's anything else. It looks like the only personal effects was what Krizik just discovered. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, these are vegetables. No, we're gonna ignore well, this. Down here, you do see you have a nice storage area. If you can uh, survive. <laughs> yeah. Did we? Uh, we can make friends with the ghost. Should we, we know what time back the, up? Sorry. What year did the bar close? Uh, so this is gonna be about. It looks like it's it, about ten years ago ish, give or take. Okay. And how long ago was this diary entry written? Actually, hold on. Let me do some math really quick. Uh, oops, what happened? Uh, it actually, let's, sorry, let me retcon that. It, it closed about uh, 50 years ago. 50, 5 zero. 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little more than 10. A little more. Five times no. more. Math. I'm so good. <laughs> so how long after the last diary entry was that? Uh, about like six, seven. Okay. So it wasn't like the last diary entry and, you know, his handwriting kind of scrawls out and that's when yeah. the <laughs> right. thing closed. Uh, MP3 chaos. I did not yeah. know we had... Pun- it is like, ah... <laughs> I didn't know we had pint point things. You can't spend a thousand pint points to tell me to dance when I didn't know that was a prize. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Moving on. So, <laughs> what um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, you heard something from above. Valtrea and Natel, you also hear that sound coming from above, but it seems to be from the, the higher uh, floors. Yeah, let's, let's go up. Let's let's go back to our uh, All right. back to our party. We, we still have to pick out our bedrooms. <laughs> We d- oh, we do! That's right! <laughs> Dibs! <laughs> Chris, is, Chris is like, Oh, I want, I want the top room! No, wait! I want the bottom room! No, wait! <laughs> and he like runs back up the stairs. Um, this is a work. perfectly fine room. I don't mind it. So, uh, actually, I'm so sorry. Uh, I missed something in the room below. I don't want to cheat you out of it, so I'm just letting you know I did miss something. Oh, and down, Do you want down to here? Like, go back and uh, where I'm ping- no, or? where I'm pinging right now. Oh, that one. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Because you saw that uh, guy, but you didn't really like go into the room. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Uh, 
We'll say Krizik sees the ghost again and is like, ah, hey, and goes back into the room. And <laughs> the pantry uh, in here has been ransacked by rats long ago, leaving nothing but droppings around the room. The hearth oh, here no fun. didn't fare as well as one as the one in the common area. So this fireplace is a lot shittier than the one. Uh, where is the one in the common area? Oh, over here. Okay. Um, you can see where the stone has been split by temperature and age. In the hearth, you see a small doll smudged with soot resting amidst the ashes. No. Now this is the point oh. where we have to wonder if Krizik would survive a horror movie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, we get to the, now we get to the meat of the issue. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. I mean, Krizik still wants to... Okay, Krizik still wants to make friends with the ghosts. Um, so, let me see. I might have something in my character sheet. Um, hold on. Let's see. Uh... What does he have? Um, um, Marvin, thoughts? Are you guys still in the cellar, oh. or are you upstairs now? Oh, uh, so uh, as part of his gladiator background, Krizik has costume clothes. Okay. Um, can we say he's got a sort of like um, like a fancy hat that may that maybe has like a fake feather in it? Sure. Okay, uh, Krizik pulls that they out of the They call that the debonair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll say it's like, we'll say it's like, it's like a, like, um, it's like a stage costume, so it's not like super, like, valuable material or anything like that. Okay. Um, but it's like a small cap, it's goblin size, so it's a small cap uh, with a little fake feather in it. Uh, and he, like, holds it up and he's like, hey, if you guys want to play with this one too! There you go! And he puts it into the hearth next to the doll. Nothing seems to happen. He's like, that's fine, we can we can play with it later, I guess. And he heads back to where the rest of his friends are. Thoughtsy, are you staying in the in the cellar? Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. There you go. So basically right now is you know there's a doll in here. Uh you it looks like hold on, let me find that. I think there was a staircase. But it looks like it was destroyed. Um, here's where you have things you can you can uh, look. Uh, in order to get to the upstairs, it looks like the inner staircase has uh, dis sort of disintegrated at this point. It looks like there was one behind the bar, kind of like over here, like where this was. But now the only way to the higher levels is to go outside through one of the balcony areas. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't want so, to, so the only things you haven't checked out in this in this room is mm -hmm. this fireplace where the doll is, and this fireplace over here. Oh, so we have to actually pick up the doll for anything. You don't to have happen? to. You can just leave it. But I'm just telling you, those are things oh. that are interactable as we approach our I, last five minutes of the game. Oh, I, I, I'll go I, check I, out I, this one over here. I want. I want to okay. know. Uh, also with want that, to survive. <laughs> The hearth in the center of this room seems to be relatively good condition. You can almost imagine it once setting this large tavern aglow with warm radiance. Resting above the mantle uh, looks to be a uh, drawing, a, p a piece of artwork of a few individuals that you can't quite make out. Um, I put a fire in the hearth. All right, it instantly lights. Can we see the <sighs> individuals more now? Uh, it looks like, um, uh, no, the room is illuminated. However, you're noticing that the, the flume above the fireplace seems to be blocked and smoke is starting to pile into this area. And as you uh, are doing that, uh, everyone make a, uh, who, who has the highest passive perception? Uh, not me. That's a 14. That's fine. It's at the bottom of our spell sheet, right? Nope. Yeah, mine's 11. Oh, is so it? Where is it on oh, here? 15. Uh, uh, on this sheet, Ryan, it's oh. it's on the left side, kind of like in the middle, yeah. but towards the bottom. It. Mine's so, 11. Uh, Natel, running right between you and the bar, you see what looks to be uh, the shadow of a, a small childlike form running past you and giggling. Uh, ghost children, no. <laughs> <laughs> um... Looking up at the at the artwork, Sneezewort, you see it looks to be um, 
a picture of uh, a middle-aged uh, half elven, like uh, an elven man. He's beaming from ear to ear, and there seems to be a cheerful halfling on either side, and or a halfling on one side and a dwarf on the other. Okay. All right. Huh. Well, it's fine. I put out the fire and I use prestidigitation to move the smoke out the window. Okay, uh, the smoke is dissipated. Um, however, as the smoke moves out, uh, you all notice that uh, the figures of the... Um, oh, you're seeing them now. Of the uh, children seem to have not dissipated as they're left here. And now, guys, we got to roll initiative. Aww. One minute left in the game. This is it. <laughs> the end of the game. Last fight. We got to do a fight. Come on, All guys. Right. You're level twos now. <laughs> we had a fight. But Critic wants to make friends with the ghosts. Um, All right. Oh, come on. Uh, where am I? Oh, there I am. I just found this creepy picture online of this kid. That's so creepy, Chris. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Uh. Krizik is all about haunted houses. Seb is not. <laughs> 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 all right, we all in there? Yes, I think. All right, with that, uh, Marv, you're first. Uh, I see them and I panic. I channel the, well, I come here I, uh, in between them all. I channel divinity and I turn undead. Sweet. Yeah, let's do that. How does that work? Walk me through it. Uh, or put it in the chat. Save. Um. I believe it's a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Boom. Okay, wisdom save. Did, I, did it show up in the chat? It didn't. Why not? Go to the chat. Do the thing. Oh, I have to put the little therapist. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, first one. Wisdom? Yeah. Yep. Four, uh, he's turned, right? Yep. Oh no, I'm turned. Next one. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> also turned. All right, last one. Three. <laughs> wow, oh, you got wow. them all. Nice. <laughs> All right, with that, it looks like the I'll children... Say, get out of here, you kids! Get out right. of here! Uh, <laughs> they giggle and start moving away, and they a start... A no place for children. And they immediately true. <laughs> transport through the walls and uh, move out of, of the way, leaving you again in silence. Uh, then you hear that giggling from, cup, from above you uh, of the same type of children. With that, everybody, we're going to be ending our session here tonight. Thank would you, you say that they would be 30 <laughs> feet away from me? Upstairs? <laughs> maybe they need to make a save. Maybe. We'll remember that next week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. If you ever miss an episode, our stuff will be available on YouTube the following Monday, as well as on our podcast, uh, which is on Anchor, Spotify, and all those other things. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.